Hello Internetians and welcome to Ratchet and Clank Future. This is the future of this series. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I have a lot of saves in this game apparently. Bruh. I actually, I was checking out this one earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think the viewers can see the... No, they can see the saves. That's only when I stream from PlayStation 4. Hmm. Anyway, uh... Oh yeah, I was playing on that that one earlier because I was just wanted to test to make sure the game was working, and I was on like the second level Check. of the game. Horizontal stabilizers. Check. I can't Ion hear what this. Looks like we had a tailwind. Yeah. If we time it right, we can light a slipstream in the grav train past the secret traffic, launch the mag grab onto that pedway overpass, and slingshot right ratchet. up to ratchet. Yes. The are flying These ones aren't that bad though, because they stay really close to the. To the model. It's mm -hmm. just a fused item. Yeah. I mean, that's like. That's the correct way to do it, in my opinion. That's PS3 air versus PS2 air. That's true. That's how you do it right, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I believe we have a suggestion about you starting, so I'll just leave you okay. over there. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they heavily armed? Aren't they just your arm against? <laughs> and then they fucking do do no. <laughs> <laughs> That joke gets shorter and shorter every time. <laughs> just gonna be like do. <laughs> yeah, it's like the. It's like the. Um, that one Same. clip from Fortnite with Mega Levania where it just played one note and you immediately know what it is. Like, <laughs> By the way, I'm not into Fortnite. It was just a meme. Yeah. Somebody edited the sand thing into the trailer for I think it was Fortnite season two or something. It was whenever they changed the map. Yeah. And it was just the first note. Like it wasn't even the first three or even the first two, it was just the first note. Yeah. And everybody instantly understood. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is what we've reached. <laughs> at mm -hmm. this point. Yes. So let's see. Apparently we're on our way to get to Quark's place. Welcome back, customer 91802. If you're looking to combat a massive, deadly space armada, the Gadgetron help desk will be happy to assist. Uh, this is something. I think it's ammo. Okay. Oh, we've got ourselves a weapon. Yep. Basic gun. Oh, is it the bad controls? You can change that. No, I can use the uh, R1 in order to shoot. No, not that. It's the thing where uh, it doesn't. It doesn't aim where you're looking. Yeah. Yeah, you can change that. I have to be facing them in order to properly. Yeah. Shoot, yeah, you can is, change that. Which is hot garbage. As, yeah, you, we, as we have found out. I. Uh, was surprised to find when I loaded up that save that I was talking about that it was defaulted to the crap one. So third, it's just that one. Yeah, just change it. Lock shape is the other one. I don't know what I you just. I think did. this is it. I just pressed. There's X. only two options, and it's not the other one, so it's this one. All right, lock strafe. All right, let's do the shit. Uh, I believe the mo camera motions are correct. Okay, this this looks more my my speed. Yeah, more like the other games as well, and like a typical third-person shooter. I was telling you how to do the jump attack from the first game. Apparently my attacks are so lower than the reticle. Yeah, apparently my hits are undershoot. That is kind of odd. That's am I, am I just killing fish? Yeah. No, they're, they're, they're fish and robots. Bruh. Step on it. Oh, um, I think that, I mean, that works too. I don't, I was thinking stepping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. I was going to say, I thought I saw you did that earlier, and I was like, ooh, ooh step on it. <laughs> I mean, I might have, but I didn't notice it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, is it was so quick. 
that you didn't notice it, and I just barely noticed it and wasn't yeah. even sure if I was correct <laughs> that I saw it. Which is why I wanted to see it again. <laughs> yeah. Lots of... lots of crates around. Lots of collectibles. Yes. Looks like these are early game enemies, so they go down. Yep. I'm pretty sure most enemies in the future series go down easier than the later than the earlier games. Well, I mean, but this the, is early game, so they go down real easy. Well, I mean, in the earlier games, also yes, we're definitely getting stuck. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> 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 there is no mercy. <laughs> um, that is funny every time. But yeah, it was only the enemies only started getting like really fucking tanky in the later levels. Yeah, like pretty much universal. Yeah, they started off and like complete jumps, and then later on it's just like, oh, you need the uh, devastator in order to even dead these guys. There definitely is some of the some of that in some of these games. Um, because I know, I don't know, when I played Into the Nexus again recently, that some of the late game enemies were real tough. Oh, what is this? <laughs> A scripted bounce pad sequence. You can access the quick select menu by holding down the action button. Yeah, that's still the same. This is different. Barely. Come on. Can I not change? You should be able to. I'm pressing up and it's not running anymore. Oh, it's with the, the C-Stick. Was it not the C-Stick before? Or the, the stick before? I've always used the sticks. I always used, like, the... I didn't even know you uh, could do that. I used the buttons. Oh, shit. I never used the stick to control it. I never realized that was even an option. No, I always used this, the buttons to control the weapon wheel. That's weird. Alright, but, okay. I guess I can use the control. Good one. I didn't even I didn't realize you were doing that because I didn't even know that was an option. I've always just used the stick because that's what I'm used to. Huh. Well, I guess I learned something new. Huh. Must kill. There we go. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> is just so funny. It just... It's just so close. <laughs> it's like Tom and Jerry style squash. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> uh, as much as the grenades are fine, I'm gonna switch back. This city looks really good in this game. Yeah. I'm like that one fish in that episode of Spongebob where Spongebob thinks that he, uh, that everybody wants him to be a performer. Mm -hmm. Where I'm like, that's what we've been waiting for! <laughs> <laughs> now drop on the movie. deck and blub like a fish! <laughs> <laughs> also funny. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> and yes, the purple things do seem to be ammo. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they respawn. <laughs> that's new. Yeah. It helps. A little. I don't think they all respawn, but I do think there are respawning points. That's good. Like the one you just saw. Also, I'm curious what this grind rail is actually supposed to be in the context <laughs> of this city. Good question. Could be a like a power rail or something. Like Probably a... stuff we're not supposed to think about. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the actual answer. But if we power try to force if we try to force an answer, it's probably like a like an electrical line because of those things on it that are yeah. zappy. Not that they hurt you, but it's supposed to. Be. Well, the, also the the thing the rings around it that would hurt you if you would hit them. Are also zappy. <laughs> yeah, I just killed your brother. What's you gonna do about it? <laughs> leave one of them to go uh, tell the others not to fuck with you. <laughs> I always leave witnesses. 
<laughs> it's like you find out later on in the game that this, uh... Designated witness. <laughs> <laughs> you find out later in the game that these that this is just, like, fucking Sonic. And, like, the fish actually had nothing to do with it. Oh, no. That would be, like, the worst twist. <laughs> <laughs> I know for a fact that twist doesn't happen because I know for a fact they never explain the fish. They're just fish. They're just kind of there because it's button. funny. You can then aim using the right stick and move using the left stick. Press the R1 button okay, so to fire. Let's you do it over the shoulder. Yeah, if you want to be more specific with your aiming. Although since we're using straight mode, I don't think we really need to use this over the shoulder. Yeah, the only reason you would need that is if you got a sniper rifle and there was an actually good reason to use it, which there never is. At least there hasn't been in any of the previous games. Yeah. There was maybe one time we used the sniper rifle for a legitimate reason. Other than we just ran out of ammo. <laughs> and it was, I think, in the first game when we were dealing with the very end of the game and we're like, fuck yeah. this, dude. I mean, if you think about it, running out of ammo is a legitimate reason. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but it's not a legitimate reason to use specifically the sniper rifle. If you're going to buy a gun, you might as well not buy the sniper rifle. Yeah. Okay, where are we? <laughs> we just got bounced twice. Yeah, auto bounce panel. Is that a save icon? Probably. Okay, I'm just getting wrecked. Yeah, it's because you were focusing on the little things while the big boys were shooting. Am I even doing the big boys? Oh, yeah. no, I was too far away. See no, you were, you were damaging the them. Radical damage. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure you were damaging them, but... I mean, it didn't turn red. Which, they just have more health me, than Which made me a little uh, curious. I thought, am I actually doing it? That's a good question. I thought I saw a flinch animation, but maybe I'm crazy. I don't think there's a save on no, I mean there was a save icon on the screen. Oh. Like uh, there was some gears, and I was like, "What is what's okay. with the gears?" <laughs> and then I realized that's probably a save icon. No, clearly it's signaling important gears between. Oh yeah, foreshadowing. That, that, that very important character from the previous. Oof. <laughs> Glad to know some things haven't changed. <laughs> Just fucking push me off. <laughs> that happened a lot in the old game. <laughs> yes, yes it did. <laughs> I think you gotta just run past this guy bridge section, to be honest. Yeah. It's collapsing, they're gonna die anyway. <laughs> also, what are these blue ones? Is Those are health. That's health, but we don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it right now. And that's ammo, but we also don't need it. Correct. Okay, well, let's just do this bridge section. Yeah. Oof. Jumping help because it dodges like 90% of enemy attacks. Except for that one, apparently. I guess this is the 10%. That was the 10%. Sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Designated survivor is the last member of the government alive, and they have to deal with it. Wow. 
I didn't watch it, but I, I've seen commercials. Yeah, I feel like I have too. I just never really like retained the information. But you saying that just reminded me that that was probably a thing. Oh look, stuff. Also, I can clearly see that inflation has gotten to this game. <laughs> yeah. If we had eleven. Still with the subtle capitalist things. <laughs> Maybe in less obvious ways this time around. <laughs> yeah. Although I actually don't think that one's intended, but it's clearly not intended. It would but be funny if it saying. was though. The thing is, if this game was still like the old games, I would 100% believe it was intended. Because the old games did that a lot. Yeah. But I know for a fact that this game toned that stuff down a lot, so I don't just think like, that was intended. No, we're just going to join the swamp. Yeah, basically. Kind of a shame, but also, man, <laughs> I don't really care that much. Exactly. I can live with that. Yeah, doesn't really matter to me. But, but I'm just going to say, if we had 11,000 volts in Ratchet Clank 1, we'd be rich. Yeah, that's true. What? Did that just glitch into the wall? I think you did. Um, so totally not supposed to be made. And as long as as long as Insomniac keeps making good fucking games, I don't give a shit if they monetize the hell out of them. Okay, maybe monetization <laughs> would be a little odd. Well, I'm talking about like uh, like DLC and shit. Okay. If they sell like DLC and sell to tons of spin-offs and whatever. I don't care. Just don't make shitty games. Yeah. Part of that would be microtransactions. That would cause them to be shitty games. Yeah, I'm just like, well, microtransactions may be nuts. Yeah, but that's a little different. Let's not do that. Yeah, fuck microtransactions. I've been playing the Spider-Man games. I'm sure I've said this before a million times. Yes. Um, but I'm bringing it up again because I have completed everything but the last DLC. Nice. And the the previous DLC that I beat, I did in one day, so I'm basically one stream away from finishing that. I was gonna do it Monday, but I got busy. How do I feel about that? Yeah. Um. Uh, the game's really good, which means that I'm enjoying it, and I'm glad that I'm getting through it. It also means I'm a little. I'm gonna have not be able to play it anymore after that point, so that's a little disappointing. But but you know it is what it is, and I've got a lot of other things on my list. And honestly, uh, it'll free me up to do a lot of the other stuff I'm supposed to be doing, like Hades and uh, oh, yeah. Spirit Fairer. I'm probably gonna do Spirit Fairer next because I'm most of the way through that already. At least I think I am. I don't actually know because I don't know how long the game is. Yeah, but it see, feels like I am. I'm just eating fucking shit. <laughs> You're doing fine, because you're just moving. That's all you gotta do. Just don't get pushed off. Don't go near a ledge. Big moving. Yeah, but if I stay in the middle of the pack, I just get like bummed. That's true. Okay. Tilt the six axis. Oh, it's a motion control. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how to do this. You gotta hold it level. Hold it down. You're holding it way up. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. This is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it expects you to do almost nothing, Good. as you can see. <laughs> well, give me garbage controls, expect garbage performance. <laughs> okay. Looks pretty quiet. Where's Fork? That's four bubbles, and that's a four-digit combination. That could easily get reached. Yes. I think I just get surrounded. Okay, just instantly getting hit right off. The I think that was. I think Cork is like the mayor or something. Okay. I don't. Remember, I'm sure that's explained in one of the games we skipped. Um, but like somehow I'm not surprised. Yeah. Because Court keeps taking our credit. Yeah. But like, I gotta turn this shit up. 
Yeah, we just straight up can't hear what they're saying. What I should do is I should fuck with the balance and turn down everything else and turn the voice up. That would probably fix the problem. So this rail is supposed to be a transportation? Yes, because you've seen trains on this before. Yes. Now, why they end mysteriously, that's a little bit of a concern. Yeah, well, <laughs> is there any comedy for us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Insomniac I, I, would be proud of that joke. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to continue their tradition of like <laughs> inserting like context where there clearly is none. Yeah. To keep up the anti-capitalist message even when it's not there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, no, they go far more into like they go like less anti-capitalist and more random space opera with this series. All right. I mean, as long as they do it well. It's pretty good, in my opinion. Crown Prince of the Crack Pipes? <laughs> <laughs> This is your brain can crack. See the crown, see the scepter, the giant walking frog, the legion of royal robotic commandos, and Clara! Not a treacherous furball like you could. What's this? Such a primitive robot companion. And your kind used to be such renowned engineers. <laughs> oh, I'd be careful if I were you. He's got possomorphic plastic cannons in his fingertip. Hmm. My gripe is not with the people of this arcade planet, but with you. Surrender Why? your deadbot. You simply allow us to kill you. No one else need be harmed. Fair enough. Here you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> yep. One hundred percent. Oh yeah, what are we at in running to tally of crash ratchet chips, by the way? Alright, well we just have a total of one so far in this game. In this game. I think we crashed like two or three. In the first trilogy. <laughs> that was just an instant one eighty. <laughs> 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 I love that joke. <laughs> Good thing cryosleep doesn't work on robots. Boom! <laughs> Just a fucking boxing glove comes out. <laughs> That's a classic joke. Oh yeah, welcome to having lore now. Alright. Unclear. It definitely, it. I know he said his past is inside, but it definitely sounded like his ass is inside. Um. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know what it was supposed to say, but it still, every time, all sounds right. like his ass is inside to me. Clank! Clank! Are you okay? Oh my goodness. Yeah, that, that jumped, was, that jumped down a bit. That was a very unflattering close-up. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that one model, like, rendered in Inch, whereas the rest of the cutscene wasn't? Alright, well that's two crashed ships so far this game. <laughs> well, we've already made up for the, for the one game in the first series we didn't crash one. Hmm. We're now, we're now one for one. Or, four for four, I guess, is what you'd call it. I just simplified the fraction. Very, very, <laughs> Go in here? Nope. <laughs> Alright, with that, I'm gonna hand the controller off to you. Good timing. Hey, I had to check. Yeah. It was pretty unclear. I could have told you, but I chose not to. Well, I also, said, funny. I also said it kind of like right away, and then checked. Yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna let this play out. <laughs> What are you? I fucking hate you. Get out of my life. It's an evil sentence. 
I hate you, I'm gonna kill you. Also they burn for Give me 200 damage. Yeah, they do. What? I don't know. <laughs> so, we don't know how long we've been knocked out for. Yes. Whoa, what's with the aim acceleration? What? Hang on, I gotta check something. Uh... Fuck. Alright. What? There's aim acceleration. I don't like aim acceleration. What's, what's aim acceleration? It starts out slow when you move it, and then it picks up speed, see? Oh. I hate that in games. Okay. But there's no option to turn it off. If you make a game with aiming and don't have an option to turn off aim acceleration, fuck you. Yeah, I mean, it's cool in theory because it allows you to, like, quickly switch across the map. Oh. Yeah. Also, motion blur. That too. Fuck motion blur. Like, what was I saying? Like, it's cool in theory that you could, like, be able to pinpoint small differences while also being able to flick across the map really quickly. So yeah. I guess aim acceleration makes sense in theory, but I can see how it would be annoying as fuck. I just don't. I don't like it. It bothers the hell out of me. Also, we can choose to turn on jetpack. Quick, I just did. Uh, That's what I opened this up for, but then I got curious what these other things were. I think those are automatic, though, so I don't have to worry about them. Okay. Jetpack jet as it should be. Yeah, the only true plank. All the other planks are just irritating. All the other planks with the bumped up kicks. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. That's a thing. Oh, it's just fucking off. It's like, yeah, how dare you disturb my sleep. I'm gonna go fuck off. <laughs> he was like, Whoa! <laughs> gotcha, and then just left. <laughs> Got you to jump. Jump skills. Two for flinching. Honestly, do people really think that, you know, you're weak if you flinch or something? It's, I don't know, it's man. It's an automatic, like, response. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a, not it's something dumb. you're in. Pretty sure the objective is the other way, but there's boxes here, so. I mean, oh no, that looks like an objective over there. What was over here then? I saw if that. If there's thing. boxes, then it's clearly the true objective. Yeah, exactly. Everyone knows money. That's why we're here. Yes, yeah, money. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess we've got some more. Is that rare titanium? Yeah. All yes. the rest. Alright, well it looks like uh, we're going to be for a while before we find the thing. Because apparently the apocalypse happened while we were asleep. Yeah. Shit. I know I don't have to use my wrench on these guys. But well, we're going to. Yeah, anyways. exactly. Firsties? <laughs> Combustion shells. Yep. Teach those lemons what for. Oh god. <laughs> That's such a reference. <laughs> I'm sure they'll understand. I get it. Real gamers understand. This is real gamer hours. Yes. What, nine o'clock? Yeah, nine to nine to midnight. Oh. oh yes, we discount the ammo. <laughs> I'm totally sure we're going to use that a lot. Yeah, it was actually useful in the first game, but yeah, after the first game it becomes crap. Yeah, because the guns were kind of crap in the first game. They became not crap out of the sequence. Yeah. Ironically, the the wrench throw was also shit in the in the original because you couldn't move once you threw it. 
Oh yeah. But now you can just do this. Yeah, like once you threw that, then you were basically married to that throw. Yeah. Like a solid two or three seconds. You're in it for the long haul. Yeah. Oh fuck off! I didn't know that was gonna happen. Get. Oh, I guess I don't need. He said get, but then he remembered over in Cummings. Pathfinder, but we play by all the rules. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that would be actually garbage. Yes. Because we, you know how many rules there are in that game. Yeah, there's a bunch of bullshit rules that no one uses. Especially for skill checks. And, and casters. Yeah. Well, even for casters, we still use a large number of the rules. No, but I'm talking about uh, uh, making them actually buy the stuff. Instead of paying the one off. Well, well, I actually, my campaign made you buy anything that costs money. Because the game basically says, yeah, if there's a negligible cost, you're, you should assume that your casters have those things. Pathfinder, but, realism mode. But at least in my campaign, it's like, yeah, if you want an expensive material component, you're going to have to buy it before the fight breaks out. <laughs> Yeah, well, I wasn't a caster, so... Um, I'm, I'm sure, uh, like, Nathan, Nathan never... Yeah. But Justin and Edith had to worry about it. And they didn't see, they didn't see the game. Big worm. Big dick. Hmm. Also, he fucking stole his soul. Yeah. Polaris gas. Oh. Oh, you can jump out of that. Oh, I pressed the jump button. So why didn't it let me jump out? I don't know. Okay. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Alright, I guess I just wasn't quick. Cobalia Spaceport. Yeah. That's one letter off from ripping off Pokemon. What's that? Cobalia. Huh. It's, it's a Pokemon from Gen 5. Attention, citizens of Cobalia. The Imperial That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> Why is my wrench dodging this stuff? Alright, let's check out weapons. Tool, hey, there's the title. A hey. Tools of Destruction. We're done. Game's over. Bum, 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 bum. Ratchet and Clank, but we only play it until somebody says the title of the game. Can we get, like, a fake title screen up here real quick? I'll try. Right. Uh, uh, oh, no. What? Talking characters? They brought back the weapon vendor. <laughs> yeah, he exists. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna start upgrading shit. Oh, I can't find it. Anyway. This isn't a special, is it? No. This is just the thing. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, every weapon has a weapon tree now? Yes. Okay. And they're pretty decent weapon trays. But right. I just kind of do them mindlessly because if you're playing the game, then like by the end of the game you'll have like most of the weapons you actually use maxed out anyway. Okay. So I mean, I. I do we want the plasma beasts though? Um. Yeah. Let's just get some shit. Sure. We need more weapons. Okay. Uh, we can't upgrade it, but I still want to look at if, it. If this game is anything like the other games, we're going to need most of the game's weapons in order to beat the final boss. Mm. Oh shit, okay. If you ever see this, buy it first. More Raritanium? Yes. Because Raritanium is the stuff you use to purchase these upgrades. Getting right. getting these things will make you get it faster, and that's how you get through the game real fast with Raritanium. Okay. But, er, that's how you get everything upgraded by the end of the game without even trying. Okay. Uh, I should have... I, I probably should have saved until I had... The, that, but I don't know. less grinding is always better. Exactly. Anything you can get that gives you more of the 
fucking currency you use to get the thing. I mean, it'll it's great. Pay off by the end. Yeah. Also, I like how the intercom said, "Oh, hey, your Wombax is coming. Everybody, get ready." And then he shows up and you start killing everybody in sight. <laughs> just like the prophecy has been. Fulfilled. Yeah, I basically just justified that. It's like, oh, why are you so racist against Lombaxes? And then you start killing everybody. <laughs> I didn't even mean to. I was just trying to kill the crates, but my fucking ratchet, my wrench kept walking onto it. No, I get it, but I still think it's funny. It is pretty funny. We're just, just a couple, couple of humble smugglers, smugglers unfairly hunted, hunted and persecuted wherever, wherever we go. go. And the same as the aliens have shut down the planet of Jeritonian land. They must be, uh, looking for someone. Well, we're kind of stranded ourselves. Our ship crashed back there. Stranded? Well, I'll tell you what, now. We're gonna make it with you. You get the jail that's working and we'll, uh, procure the jail. Hold it slightly closer to us. Okay, Look I at them waveforms. <laughs> Alright, I guess we've got a uh, gel pump gun. Uh, yeah. That's a required gadget, I the guess. Gel I guess that's a required gadget. Very well done. All right, I'll take a look. What a Groovatron! Groovatron. Yeah. That's the disco thing I was talking about. Oh, so now they have um, if they separate have grenades. expendable items now. Yeah, I mean it's basically just more expensive ammo. Yeah, I get it. But These things are actually genuinely pretty good. Okay. They're also very funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and this that, will heal that you. Was the, that was the item that spawned the, uh, Ben Parish meme. Exactly. Actually, you know what? How much money do we have? I'm gonna buy all these. Okay. We can use them sparingly. Yeah. But I'd like to at least have them. That didn't work like I expected. Oh, neither did that. <laughs> just fell into the metal and died. Well, I was trying to land on that ledge to see if I could get back up, but then it was like, yeah, you're not allowed to do that. You're just gonna fall into the difference. Yeah. Please don't play the cussing again. Okay, good. Uh, that way it doesn't... Huh. Are we supposed to go up or something? Uh, oh, probably. What's this? An elevator? Yeah. Must be this one. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Yes, this is like the water pump thing in the yes. previous games. Get the suck. Uh, but you do this, I guess. Uh, bro, what? Yeah, because it's jello. Uh, okay. Um, I don't remember how to, how this works. Ah! The more you put, the higher you go. Huh. Cool. I guess this is a thing. I mean, as far as puzzle-exclusive gadgets go, it's actually kind of neat. Sure. Alright, let's see if I put this in here. Yeah. Uh-oh, I can't see where I'm landing. Anybody getting hungry for jello? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, I guess I'm always hungry though, so it doesn't matter. I guess you guys are innocent. <laughs> the only way to find out if somebody's innocent is if they take damage when you smack them. <laughs> exactly. The only correct way, at least. Hmm. This is gonna fuck me over, isn't it? Oh, these things eat this shit. They oh. are not innocent. Alright then. Also, they don't die. You can only knock them away. Well, fuck you. Oh, well, you knocked that one off the cliff. That's true. I can probably cheese them like that. 
cheese tactics. Cheesier than Chester cheese. Just enough. I had a feeling it was going to be three. I don't know why. Huh. Well, you were right. It seems there's a platform you can get there. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether this is the intended route or the other one is. Because I want to go the opposite way to make sure I get everything. Oh, well, yeah. Uh huh. Looks like they uh, rebranded the exploding boxes. Ah, Raritanium. Good. Good. That's what we want. Good shit. Good shit. This is gonna kill me, isn't it? No, it's fine. Looks like the drift is higher than you expect. Yeah? Hello, boys! I'm back! <laughs> Whoa, get out of here. You're not allowed to exist. Existence is strictly forbidden. Oi, you got a license for that existing? You got a license holding license for that license, mate? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I unlocked a I unlocked a British themed Spider-Man suit in the Spider-Man game. Oh, <laughs> and that that stream was just full of those jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it real good. I guess we did something. Yeah, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Like, no, you can't defy Imperial Decree. Ha <laughs> ha, wrench go bird. <laughs> Does this thing have ammo that we need to worry about? Don't know. Hoping not to. Oh god. <laughs> that was not uh, high enough. I was almost ready right there. I saved it. Bonk. Yeah. Alright, let's see what this is about. Obviously, I need to start it upstream. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, do you want to play? Uh, no, this is your level, man. Alright, I'll just finish this shit. My level's a lot longer than yours. Okay. Also, think. apparently they have designated respawn points and animations for respawn. Oh, interesting. Did you see that? Yeah. I mean, I didn't process it, but... When you said it, I was like, yes. This is a thing I have now seen. Uh, okay. I may have put that too far. Uh, what? Okay, that's just not cool. Also, you have half a second to get out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. That seems a little unnecessary. Uh. I mean, this is just my personal preference, but I, <laughs> I'd like to prefer if the game doesn't canonically recognize that you die unless it's actually part of the story. Ah, you die. fair enough. Where it's like, yeah, just, I I can just teleport me back to the spawn point and let's keep going and pretend like nothing happened. You piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> what? They disappear in like two seconds for some reason, so I have to. I understand that it was necessary, but that was maximum cheese. Yeah, I was just like, hmm. That one time when I accidentally put it on the other ledge, I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can cheese this. Oh, yeah. It's big brain time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like when games let you do shit like that. Yeah, like... Even if they don't realize it. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about Dark Souls, is all the ways you can cheese it. Yeah. Like the worm. Even though you're not supposed to do the thing, 
the game's not going to arbitrarily stop you if you find a way to cheese it. Yeah. There's, um... Yeah. Sometimes I... Sometimes I swear it's intentional. Other times, obviously, it's not. Um... Like in what works. So, obviously, the Taurus Demon thing is not intentional. Right? Um... Because you can just launch that fucker... Or, or, no, sorry, not the Taurus Demon. Yeah, the Taurus Demon. The one you launch off the fucking bridge. You can launch him off the bridge. Yeah, in, in DS1? First big guy? Yeah, but he has, like, no knockback when you hit him. How are you supposed to knock him off the edge? It's, okay, it's not about launching him, it's about tricking his AI into jumping, technically. Okay. But you can trick his AI into just leaping off the ledge and dying. Oh, interesting. Yeah, um... That one, obviously, is not intentional. The, uh... Centipede Demon, also obviously not intentional, although I do love it. Well, yeah, he fucking jumps out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then there's, like, the Sandworm, the Karthus Sandworm in, like, DS3, where it's like, hmm, hmm. This almost seems like it was intended, but not quite. Um, I would not know, because I haven't played all the way through DS3. Yeah, so in DS3... In the underground section. Uh, you bitches, get out of here. Oh, why don't you spawn a piece of jello way far away so that they can be with me? That would be smart, Jacob. What do you think I am? A smart person? <laughs> um. It does not seem like it's limited, but I could be wrong. I think it's just you have to. You, you can only use it in certain areas. Alright. Um, unfortunately, because it would be cool to be able to use that anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so the, uh, yeah, the, there's a giant sandworm, and there's also a giant ballista, and they're both incredibly annoying, but together, they're actually real easy to cheese, because there's a spot you can stand where the ballista will hit the, uh, oh, fuck, I really thought I could get up there. I, I think we're back where we started. I, I we are, but I opened this, and I also did the thing he wanted me to do. Oh. Um, I'm gonna collect some stuff while I finish talking. Uh, so yeah, so there's a ballista, and you can stand in a sp specific little like divot in the ground, where the ballista will shoot at you, and it'll hit the ground in front of you, and the sandworm will keep spawning and doing the same animation. And the ballista goes straight through the sandworm. So if you just stand there and do literally nothing, the sandworm eventually dies. Wow. I've never fought it legit, and I don't ever expect to fight it legit. <laughs> Black Star Armor. Okay. That's just... Oh. Oh, that's the armor vendor? Yeah. It's just there's two things you can interact with to, to open it. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, but whatever. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, exactly. Whatever. Hmm. Like, it really doesn't affect anything. Uh... But yeah, anyway, so, like, that almost seems intended. Hmm. Just when you actually see it done, you know what I mean. Because it's, yeah, like, I mean, it's so perfectly designed that way. I mean, it seemed like something that you would have to see to believe. Yeah, and also no fucking person in their right mind would fight, fight that thing with shit. <laughs> Because it's like, uh, it's kind of like the Hydra in DS1. Right. Um, where it's just that big ass piece of shit thing that you don't technically have to fight. And it's just kind of there for some reason. Yeah. And it's like, I should not be able to fight this. <laughs> well, I mean, the Hydra was not that tough. Yeah, the Hydra was actually intended to be fought. That's the thing. Yeah. For sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um,. Uh, for a second there. Um, so, yeah, obviously what I'm doing is optional, but also mm -hmm. I'm getting stuff for it pretty consistently, so yeah, I guess I mean, I'll keep doing it. more prepared for later on in the game. Yeah. Oh, shit. The bolt. That's why. I, that's what I originally wanted. A. It's a bolt. It's a gold bolt, I think, which I believe you use for... Uh... Ship upgrades? No, I think in this one it's for, like... Uh, extras, like hidden cheat code things. Oh, okay. I believe. I was looking at it earlier. There's a. Here, I'll show you. Isn't. Not, not that. 
Oh god, it, it does that thing where it goes to the top of the menu. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, so skill skill points, cheats, cheats are no cheats are skill points, skins I think. These are gold bolts, and you can Dan put on Johnson. dumbass skins. Oh no. Uh, and I want this one. <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> because it's literally furious. just still Ratchet, but he's wearing a fucking Groucho Marx glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I want that badly. He's just wearing a mustache and glasses. That's it. Yeah. That's the only thing I care about with the gold bolts, is that. Alright. <laughs> you get to play as Mustachio Furioso. It's just very clearly still Ratchet. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm not supposed to go in that cave yet, but I still want to check it out. Well, we're supposed to speak to this one. Yes. I'm pretty sure this is where we came from. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I guess you're right. I just reactivated a boss fight. No, wait! I can sell those things souls for money. This is not where we came from. This is an optional boss. Oh. Uh, this is also not the weapon I want to be using. Don't just throw gelatin at you and expect it to work. Yeah. I'll just be feeding him. Just like it makes his health go up. Okay, my camera is glitched, but uh. It's, it's, it's fine. Still be doing things. It's fine, I'm still winning. <laughs> <laughs> Thing has, like, no survival instinct. No. Could have just run away at any point. Yeah. Also, we're playing discount Thanatos and steal people's soul. <laughs> Why the fuck is all this area over here? I don't know, man. I mean... Oh, it's another one. This is literally just a farming area, isn't it? Okay, if I kill this one and, like, another one spawns... Because it looks like this area just loops around. If I kill this one and the other one spawns again, I'm just... Yeah. I have... I... I... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we're farming this, so that's good, too, we're I guess. Farming XP, it seems. Yeah. And exactly. money, because... Oh, it's so instantly we filled your ammo. Right on time, too, since we were about to run out. Nice. Go point to point, giant hunter. Oh, I must have killed them all. Uh, Probably an indication I finished this area. <laughs> Man, I just enjoyed this game. <laughs> yeah, it feels good to play. Yeah. Except for the stupid camera acceleration, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I never noticed. I'll deal with it. I just have to do little taps instead of actually controlling the camera like a normal person. <laughs> because if I hold my controller, if I hold the direction for any longer than this, I lose control of where I'm aiming. Uh, because it starts to do this. Yeah. Alright. Um, yeah, I think we got everything here. Okay. Uh, I guess I have money. I could check the armor vendor again. I don't know how much I got. But Probably not 25000 Probably not. 15,000. So, halfway there. Let's blow this joint, and then let's get out of here. <laughs> you don't blow a joint, though. <laughs> How yeah, about that? <laughs> yeah. No, technically what you said is right. It's just a weird saying. Okay. How about that ride? What are Leviathan souls? I don't care. Where are... <laughs> I kind of want to cook this one. And then we react to the Let's fucking go. What if I just said no thanks and started haggling with him for a distance? <laughs> Here you go, it's gonna be you next. Just so. be like, yeah, I'll give you a hundred bolts in order to take me to the next star over. Yeah. Just take me to the end of the game. I'm gonna give you this gold bolt I found. Yeah. Okay, well, that's new. They're just spawning wormholes or something. New technology, I guess. Sure. Also, I guess we're just bumming around the galaxy now. More or less, but how is that any different from the previous games? <laughs> At least the previous games pretended to care why we were bumming around the galaxy. So the 
the Polaris galaxy. Tachyon owns all of it? Yep. Ironic, ain't it? The one crowd mind they didn't vaporize comes back to depress the galaxy. Who is they? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Alone, man. Vaporized the whole lot of them years ago. Left the Kragmite planet nothing but an empty hunk of dirt. The Kragmite planet. Oh, oh, the universe. What? Attention, transport lessons. So they just genocided his entire race and now he took over the galaxy because of it? Yep. Welcome to lore. So apparent. so Kragmites were this, like, race of aliens that were, like, notoriously violent and, and evil. Okay. And then the Lombaxes were, like, famously good scientists. And they were like, we'll fucking fight them. And then they obliterated the Kragmites. But one survived, somehow, which we don't know yet. I mean, we know that it's alive because we saw him, but yeah. we don't know why. Um, oh my god! I'm getting just destroyed. Just tilt, like, in a circle. Just go in a circle. That That's, like, the way to dodge missiles. Alright. I mean, it's not working. Well, it was until you hit a corner. <laughs> um... This is actually where I was in that save that I was testing. Okay. Um... So yeah, so the Lombax has just kind of obliterated them, except for one, and then that one was like, "Fuck you! I'm taking over the universe," and then he did. <laughs> well, at least the galaxy. So. Yeah, galaxy. Also, apparently, when you go to the weapons vendor, it restores your ammo. Automatically, and, yeah. And, and health. Oh, health too. Yeah, Interesting. I, Didn't notice I'm that. Back to full health. Okay, that's good. At least we have a reliable way to do that, rather than just dying and hoping that we pass the next checkpoint. <laughs> Pretty much. That's just how it works. Yeah. Or leaving the planet. That used to be sort of. That one dude, you walked right over him. Oh. I'll fix that. <laughs> Not again. Won't happen again. I'm pretty sure Percival is saying something, but who cares? <laughs> I had to do it. Literally funny every time. <laughs> the sound they make adds to it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, go back to the weapons vendor for a second. Alright. Confuzzler Gasp. Uh, when you get to the weapons vendor, just buy the, um, just buy the upgrade that gives you more rare titanium. Because okay. I'm sure we have enough now. It's on the third weapon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's on the plasma beasts. I saw it earlier. Yeah, rare titanium. And then if you want to buy other those stuff, go right ahead, I don't care. I just want to make sure we got that one. Bigger area. Did we even use the plasma beasts? Yet? We haven't touched it yet, no. Good to know. <laughs> I usually just fill out the uh, things in order. Long the range, that one with the question mark down shooting, there. That one with the question mark. If you Where? buy every, uh, no, on the see on the right side where it's question mark and there's orange links. If you uh, this that thing right there. Yeah, if you fill out everything around it, you just get that. Oh, okay. I think I believe that's correct. All right, but it does mean we have to basically buy almost everything else. Yes, but you're basically expected to so. Okay. That's why I said you pretty much max everything out by the end of the game. So anyway. we could get fa extra range or extra sh faster shooting. I'm gonna go for the shooting. That's what I was gonna do, but then I realized I didn't have enough. <laughs> so. Just like, where's the damage? Bada boom. A. A. Oh yeah, rare titanium upgrades are good. There's another rare titanium upgrade too, actually. You can see it. Where? It's on the far right. You're gonna have to just go all the way around. Oh, you can actually sort of see the silhouettes there. Yeah, you I can. wasn't paying attention. I thought they were just grayed out. Yeah, you see the question mark I was referring to? Yeah. Yeah. Bada -bing. Bada -bing. Oh, and there's a rare titanium one. I didn't even notice that one. Bada bing! A bada boom! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna get annoying quick. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Alright, well, now we made this gun pretty open, so we yeah. should be good for a while. Yeah. Can we shoot that? Uh, looks like you didn't have enough range, but try again. 
Ah, bounces off. Alright, so I guess this guy took over the uh, entire galaxy. Yeah, in however much time you were asleep for. Yeah. Just goes to show once again. Oh, shit. Just goes to show again. Try the uh, top left. I think the bomb will do it. It's also cheaper ammo than any of the other things. Um, yeah. Yeah, it just goes to show you how much Ratchet and Clank do for the universe. Yeah, just like, you're away for just a short time and he already takes over the galaxy. Yeah. Just, ah, shit. Here we go again. Just like, nobody else was able to take this over. Like, really? <laughs> to be fair, though, due to the lore, um, this actually makes a lot of sense. Because, as previously stated, the last time this happened... So many people are talking here. <laughs> I know. As previously stated, the last time the Kragmites tried to take over the universe, the only thing that stopped them was the Lombaxes. Yes. Uh, we don't care about... Do and care Ratchet about? was the last Lombax. Yeah. Derived from the sea, the, the, the hallucinogens make them play each other. Okay. Cool. Hey, bada bing, ba bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> What's that? A uh, is that a Brooklyn accent or is that yeah, a? Yeah, that's that's yeah. Brooklyn. Hey, I'm walking here. I think... Hey, I'm upgrading your weapon here. <laughs> I think I might have gave this voice to a. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, this is this is supposed Lock to deal with the people shields. with this shock round. Yeah. Specifically, flawed is the web is the I know. thing they shows. Yeah, it's used for shield and enemies specifically. Okay. Um, I think I gave a Brooklyn accent to one of the characters in Spirit Fairer, but I haven't played in a while, so I don't remember all their voices. So are you just giving a bunch of voices to everybody? Yep. And you're playing this alone? Yep. That sounds a little weird. A. I'm just saying, Vinny's, uh, gotta have a book on accent. Still your mafia dude. <laughs> yeah, I just read the text in very in whatever voice I gave the character. <laughs> Designated survivor. Nice. Also, if I do end up replaying Spirit Pharaoh with Justin, which I want to, if I do end up doing that. Uh, I know which voices I like doing, so I know which ones, which characters I'm going to take. Yeah, I mean, the last time we did something like that was with Pyre, so I'd be fine uh, with doing that, too. Alright. I mean, if, if I get Justin to do it with me, then... Yeah. If the thing is, it's Justin very narrative-heavy, and it's yeah. less uh, gameplay than Pyre. Yeah, Justin might not want to do it. Well, Justin was kind of into it when I brought it up to him the first time. His only complaint was he said it was probably going to make him sad, which... Oh. It well, is. That's that's the point. Isn't that it? is literally the point. It's a feels bad to get. Yeah. It's a weird, um, bittersweet type of feeling. That game. Did I not switch to the shock ravager? Correct. I thought I did. That just insta kills. Bitch. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, um, I already knew that. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet type of game. Okay. It's like, like they're already all these people are already dead, so yeah. there's not really much worse that can happen to It's them. sad and tragic, but like in a beautiful way. Okay. And also weirdly uplifting at times. Like, it's hard to explain. Because a lot of it is like dealing with uh loss. Yeah, that and it's like dealing with their past um their unfinished business, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like, when they die, they leave unfinished business behind? Yeah, and then, like, cope it, having them cope with that is, like, your job as the spirit fairer. So. Okay. And they'll usually give you, like, little quests you have to do and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. It's not a game for everyone, but if you like narrative, it's good. Sure. And it's, it, it is also beautifully animated. Personally, I prefer games when I want a game. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. But having a story tacked on is certainly um, a good plus. Yeah. 
I mean, not gonna lie, if Hades didn't have as great of a story as it did, I wouldn't have seen it through to the end. That's fair. Um, so take what I say with a certain bit of salt. Yeah. Also, Dude, I, I know, fucking love Super Giant games. Do we know how to... Do we have, like, a grappling hook yet? Uh, I don't think so. Close this menu for a second? Just for a oh, second. Oh, swing shot. Oh, shit. I okay. pressed, uh, R1, and then... Do they not have it automatically equipped? Just jump off the ledge and hit the fire button. It's safe to do so anyway. Just do it. Right. See, it automatically equipped. Wait, it did? Yeah, you just didn't jump. You literally walked off the ledge. <laughs> Jacob, just go up the ledge. What? Just go up there. Alright. Now turn. Now literally just jump off and hit R1. There you go. Well, yeah, because I had the swing shot equipped. No, you don't. Look, you've got the gun equipped. Fire. No, fire the gun. Now jump and do the thing without doing anything else. Oh. Yes. Remember I said they fixed that? Oh, now you don't have to worry about selecting it on the weapon wheel every five seconds. Okay, that's good. And it good. also goes back to whatever gun you had before once you touched the ground. That's good. Uh, what do we do now? I have no idea. <laughs> Are we just at some, like, random cliff? This looks like a boss is supposed to spawn here. Oh, is a transport? No, no. Uh, yeah, I saw. Turn around. 180. Do a 180. Okay. Now look up. Not that much. There it is. Oh, that. Oh, okay. It's telling you to equip it, but I think you should be able to just jump and do it. You piece of garbage. <laughs> I pressed the fucking button. It did auto equip it. I think you just pressed the button too soon. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that, but it is better because you don't have to switch to it all the time. I guess. I hated having to switch to contextual gadgets like that in the in yeah, the other games. That was definitely one of the major downfalls of the previous games because it yeah. just brought the game to a grinding halt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just oh, you want to have a platforming section where there's also combat? Too bad. And I mean, 2 and 3 basically said, yeah, we understand our limitations. We're yeah. not going to do that. Mm -hmm. But then this game's like, no, we're just going to straight up remove that limitation. Mm -hmm. 2 and 3 fixed a lot of things, but that was still one lingering issue that, is, that was not yeah. fixed until this game. Yeah. I think they fixed it in uh, Deadlocked, actually. I could be wrong about that. But I think they might have fixed it in Deadlocked. I mean, not we that didn't play that one, so we did not because it wasn't terribly important to the story. No, not really. Um, the um, something happens in it. I don't know if that thing is ever relevant because I'm pretty sure Big Al gets retconned out of existence. If he doesn't, well, if he ends up with an eye patch or something in this, is that what I said happens? He loses an eye. Yeah, that's what you said. I think that's correct. Um, if he ends up with an eye patch in this, you know what. Okay. Although I think he might have gotten red time. No, it's not an eye patch. It's like a fucking robotic eye, I think. Oh. Yeah. Um, also, I don't know what happened that had Quark in charge of something. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, we just don't know. Yeah. That must have been in one of the games we skipped. I just don't... As far as I'm aware, the only game we skipped was Deadlocked, and... I don't think that happens in Deadlock, so maybe I'm crazy, but I don't remember that happening. Because like a, tur a fighting arena style game doesn't seem like it would make sense to have Quark become the mayor of an unrelated Yeah, universe. I don't even think Quark is in the game, to be honest. <laughs> Might be one of the only games Quark isn't in. Or if he is, it's like a weird cameo. Alright. So it is weird to me that he seemed like he was in charge. Yeah, I guess it's just like, oh, time skip. Yeah. I know he's the president in one game. Is this like a mirror? I'm, pro I'm probably not supposed to jump on Yeah, it's it's a zap thing. But I needed to get the rarity in here. Hmm. Very good. Very good. Awesome. You just have to really furiously mash this to get up. It really sounded like you said attention bitch for a second. Attention bitch. 
right. any trooper who allows <laughs> Can we just, uh, fucking... Yeah. You could have probably swung for multiple, but this also works, I suppose. Fucking... <laughs> um... That actually reminds me of that one line from fucking, uh... You know what, I'm gonna stop this joke where it is. Because I've just remembered that line is very fucked up. Oh. Game of Thrones. There's a line from Game of Thrones. Uh, what's his name? The the Hound says it in the end of the Battle of Five Kings, I believe. Those of you who've seen the show can know what I'm referring to. Those All of you right. who haven't, maybe go watch it, maybe don't. The end ruins the show so much I can't even recommend it. <laughs> So no, so you're what you're asking for is nobody to understand the reference. Yeah, if you understand the reference, good for you. If you don't, forget I said this. If you don't, also good for you. Yeah, all very maybe better for you. <laughs> Un unclear. Instructions unclear. Yeah. Our right. dick stuck in gelatizer. Our instructions unclear. Got dick stuck in uh, dinners. Ooh, there we go. That doesn't sound like a problem, though. <laughs> the instructions were unclear, though. That is that is a problem. Is there literally anything over here? The actress who plays Daenerys is pretty high. Yeah. All right. Okay, there we Raritanium. go. I knew there must have been something over here. You were right. Good to see that my uh, curiosity has been rewarded. Hmm. Have you seen Akira, Jacob? Uh, is that the name of a show? It is a Japanese animated movie. And, uh, no. Ah. I watched it recently, uh, and then recommended it to Nathan. That's the only reason it's okay. on my mind. And also because you said, uh, curiosity. It reminded me of, uh, Akira. <laughs> Which is a weird link, I realize, but... So, I think... Where am I supposed to be going? I think I'm supposed to get to that platform over Yeah, I think you can just leave off. Okay. There you go. Alright. Beautiful. I love this version of the, uh... Grappling hook. Yeah, because it doesn't get in your way. Yeah, exactly. It makes it a fun mechanic, as opposed to whatever it was before. <laughs> Uh, an annoying digression. Yeah, because the thing is, the concept of the swinging is fun. It just is outweighed by the fact that you constantly have to fucking switch gear to use it. Yeah, eat jello, sons of bitches. <laughs> I don't think that works. <laughs> <laughs> it is cool that they're letting you use the jello in a combat setting, though. I mean, it lets me use it, but it doesn't really do anything. Well, you could jump on it to get height or something, but... I mean, it's not going to stop me from using the game. Yeah, it's two situations, but... But you could theoretically use it to reposition. Hey, your ammo's 69. Now it's not. Yeah, right. <laughs> At least we were nice for a very short time. Yeah. I just looked up and saw 69, and the thing was, I couldn't even comprehend which thing I was looking at. I was like, is that your health? Is that your ammo? I don't know. I have to make this joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to use the buttons. I need to use the C-stick now. Big oof. Stack of crates. Yeah. Are there crystal lizards in DS1? Uh, they're... They're... Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're... Okay. I think they're like really fat and weird looking, so I don't know if they're actually crystal lizards. Yeah. I think they're like Titanite bugs or some shit. I don't remember enough about DS1 to know that, to know if it's true in DS1, but in DS3, like 90% of crystal lizards are a trap. Really? Yep. Well then, the trap is ruined then if you know that it's a trap. Yeah. If you see a crystal lizard, assume it's a trap. Well that's just dumb. It is. It's pretty dumb. They always put it in places where it's either really hard to get it without walking straight into a trap, or where uh, all you have to do is let it kill itself, but if you follow it, you'll walk into a trap. That's dumb. They're always fucking traps. Hmm. 
I guess the ones on the roof of, uh, I guess the ones that, uh, Pontiff aren't technically a trap. Um, can we get Art of Crystal Lizards as traps? As in, uh, you no, know what I mean? let's get, okay, <laughs> no, let's get a pic, I, I, I'll do you one better. Get a picture of Astolfo, but then Photoshop <laughs> a Crystal Lizard on Astolfo's face. Or Astolfo's face onto a crystal lizard. Yeah, I mean, either, either, way, way. either way is fine. I'll, I I could do both, maybe. I don't know. Or like I would have to actually side. watch this video, because I don't have... Where's paper? This is the second editing joke we've made, and I didn't write down the first one. Yeah, which means that the first one probably isn't gonna happen. No. Do you know what we were doing? No. Neither do I. I believe my response to that one was maybe. <laughs> and then I didn't write it down, which means it's probably not gonna happen. We're at about 115 or something. Alright. Last time I had a really hard time finding. Uh, sorry, I'm writing while also. Thank you. Um, last time I had a really hard time finding the editing jokes because they were off so much because of my, uh, thing. <laughs> Creatures? What creatures? Oh. Did you get your wires crossed in that crash? Wait, it's hallucinating. Boop, boop, boop. No. <laughs> what? Have you been modifying yourself in private? And you simply do not. And I do not care much for your tone. Uh, little, little glimpses of the old ratchet still. <laughs> Modifying yourself in private. Yeah. Okay, I totally didn't see the Oh controls. no. Oh no. Okay. It's tilt controls. Fuck. Alright. I'm afraid to tell you this. I probably shouldn't tell you this. You can shut off tilt controls, but I don't want to because I think this is funnier. <laughs> You know what, just because of that, I'm going to get all of the tilt control sections until the end of the game. <laughs> oh, look. Oof. It just says, no, you die. Start over. <laughs> yeah, it really Why? Is. I didn't do anything, like, specifically wrong in the context of the game. I noticed that, like, due to the way you kind of oversteer a little bit, you're fine as long as you're on track, but if you turn a little too much, you just get fucked. <laughs> You don't want. This is not too bad. <laughs> You're not given any warning. Oh no! Okay. Okay, here we go. You're not given any warning of where it's gonna be either. Let's, uh. <laughs> I kinda like this mechanic a little bit. Or no, at the very least, I enjoy watching no, it. No, you don't like this mechanic. You like watching me suffer. Yeah, I was gonna. <laughs> or at least I enjoy watching it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Guns. What do we get here? Check the upgrades, probably. See if you can finish upgrading the combustor, maybe. Since we're pretty we probably close. Probably Yeah, we're pretty close to getting the more bonus More damage and more rare Okay, oh, so... Oh, it doesn't auto-give it to you. With this upgrade, uh, each molten hot shot from your weapon will rain down streaming pyrocytic goo onto the ground. That's your pretty good. Your foes will have nowhere to run as the ground itself becomes your ally in battle. Nice. Okay, so it looks like if you upgrade everything, you get a sort of capstone ability. Yeah. Okay, so it's not automatic, but it does unlock it. Okay. So yeah, I, th I know in one of the later games it's automatic. You just get it. Okay. But I don't know when that starts. Yeah. All right, so do we want more guns? We're going to eventually need more I, guns. You're welcome to buy shit if you want. I don't, I don't care. There's a lot less stinkers in this game than there was All in the right. previous one. Um, I know that for a fact. The create guns are generally better. Oh no, There's create and control your own cataclysmic <laughs> tornadoes. Yep. Trailer park sold separately. Oh my god, what a joke. 
I know there's still some guns that are bad, but from what I remember, the majority of them are actually good, as opposed to the last game where they kind of weren't. However, also remember you're about 2,000 off from buying armor. Oh, yeah, we should save that. But yeah. I do want to buy the laser eventually, because I'm a big fan of lasers in games. The laser? Yeah, that the Predator says it was a laser. Oh, okay. See, it's a laser... Oh, laser guided. Oh, never mind. Lock, yeah, it's a rocket launcher, I think. Oh, it's not a laser? Fuck it, then. But it's a it's a auto tracking clearly. rocket though, which clearly, is still pretty good. Clearly, it sucks if it's not a laser. <laughs> it's an auto tracking rocket. Can dive underwater. So X and square to go up and down. <laughs> Knowledge has been declared contract. Yes. And that isn't relevant. <laughs> yeah. No, I say uh, every. I find myself every month saying that V for Vendetta just gets more and more relevant every year. <laughs> and that's kind of scary. Yeah, that's, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. Like, it obviously was relevant in its time of making. And of course it's going to be somewhat relevant a lot in general. But it seems to get more relevant every year. Yeah, it's just like, oh no. Just like 1984, you know? Mm -hmm. It's speculative fiction that actually got the future right. Yeah, it's just like... Especially since when you realize uh, that the plot of V for Vendetta says America was wiped out by basically a super virus of their own creation. Wait, that happened? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember that part of V for Vendetta. Well, that's because the movie actually takes place in uh, Britain, and they only really mention it in passing. But it's like part of the lore, I guess. I, it okay. might not have been a super virus, it might have been something else. But it was definitely, they, they say it was their own creation. Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff in America that can destroy itself right now. Oh, yeah, certainly. No, that movie literally becomes more and more accurate every year. I highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen it, not just because it's my favorite fucking movie, but also because it's incredibly relevant, I highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen it watching that. Mm. And if you have seen it, maybe rewatch it, if you haven't watched it in a while. Am I supposed to be down here? I've been stepping on the platforms, so. but it doesn't seem to be doing it. Oh, they're timed. I was hearing a timer thing. you got to run to the next one. I think you have a you have an R1 moves faster button. Do you not? Oh, there you have go. to be underwater to do it, though. Ah. Good to know. Uh, it would have helped if they had told me this earlier. You know, knowing, knowing me, they probably yeah. did. Well, that did. was that was the case in the previous games, but I okay, but I don't I, think I saw them tell you that in the controls though. Yeah, but I didn't get any of the underwater sections in the previous game. Oh, really? You didn't get any of them? No. That's weird. I think I might have gotten like one or two, but they weren't like early game shit. They well, didn't require you to know anything. Ah. Well, if you uh, if and if the previous game's karma record is any indication, you're gonna get all of the water levels in this. <laughs> Because remember in the first game, you got all the clank levels, and in the second game, I ended up getting all the clank levels or whatever? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, you got all the shitty levels, and then the next time, I got all of the shitty levels. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll probably get all the water sections now. <laughs> Just like, hey, you know those water sections? Do them. Yeah. Balls. Cock. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say anything because that was the appropriate response to that. That's scary, whatever's down there. Oh, okay, Very never mind. painful and irreversible death. <laughs> <laughs> I think you gotta bounce on him. I've been lied to once again. I think he just missed. Alright. Can I bounce on you? Okay, so it's not bounce, it's walk, but still. Alright. The floating one will get you to the... Yeah. That's a really ugly squelching sound. Yeah, it is. I mean, I gotta give him credit, though. It sounds pretty good. They sounds made... pretty accurate. Yeah, it sounds like what that thing would do. Alright. <laughs> He's in the ventilation shaft! <laughs> oh. Aww. There was ruritanium up the there. I pressed the wrong button. There was ruritanium up there. I know. 
I'm not the kind of guy that's like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. <laughs> also, apparently we're invading a map room. Yeah, I don't know why we're in the map room. I don't remember them explaining that. But the intercom says we're in a map room, so clearly we're in a map room. Yeah. Now, why did we come here? What was our goal here? Do you know? You know? We didn't have a goal. We're just like, all right, I guess we're here now because we don't want to be on the other plane. Nice. That was Throwbacks weird. to the first game when, our or second game when none of our fucking plot was explained. You know, I'm sure some of it was explained, but it was explained very thinly. Yeah, in the second one for sure. Just like, oh, you got to go here. Why? I don't know. The first game had explanations. They were kind of forced explanations, but they were explanations. The second one had no goddamn explanation. And then the third one actually had a pretty solid plot. Yeah, do you remember in the second game where we actually just fucking go to jail for some reason? Was that a thing? Yeah, we just went to jail, and then immediately we break out of jail. Yeah, because they left us with our weapons. Yeah. I do remember that part. I don't remember how we got there, though. We're trapped. So why did we come here again? Clank? We don't know. He's like, why did we come here? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad Ratchet's on the same page as me. Fast to the long. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so, the plot that got us here was incredibly thin and non almost non-existent. However, now we have now we have an actual plot. Yes. There was a reason we had to be here. There was just no reason why Ratchet would know that or want to come here. Yeah. It's just like, uh, okay. To be fair, though, the smuggler did just kind of drop us there. Yeah, he's just like, yeah, get out of here. Well, I guess we didn't want to be there. It's just a coincidence. Just like, well, we needed to while be we're here, might as well commit war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus would be proud. Mm-hmm. Uh, may he, may he reign in peace. You are now entering <laughs> over his fucking. Uh, weird monastery. Well, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? I forgot about that joke. Wait, what? <laughs> His name is a countdown for landing. But the voice just, like, you just drop and it just goes, Oops, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The humor definitely got better. Yeah. Maybe it's just because I'm older, and this game was made when I was older. But... The it's first it, game's it, humor seemed... Sometimes it was good, but it was very hit or miss. I mean, it felt like the first game, or t three, were kind of just aping off of, like, Saturday morning cartoons and that kind of um, humor, where these yeah. seem to be more aimed at, uh, like, teenage humor, which makes them funnier. Yeah. Because they're closer to what I like. Nice. All right, plasma beads. Yeah. Do we even use these? We haven't yet, but... Alright. Sure. That's because we've literally only used the whip because it was required, and the gun because it's good. <laughs> Alright, now oh. we... Now that we have... Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Bada bing! Bada boom! Bada boom! Also, those, those bolt ones, I think, increase your money gain. Also, this just instantly go makes our damage go from men to max. It does? Wait, scroll off of it? <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm just curious. <laughs> I want to see what this does A hey, bada bing! Bada boom! Bada boom! If we gotta hear this, you guys have to hear this three times as much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright. I, I think we should start nice. using the Shock Ravager now. <laughs> because its damage just got a major buff, yeah. and also it gives us tons of bolts. You don't say! Oh shit. The lore is... The story's moving now. Wait, this game has lore? <laughs> what? Where is everyone? I tried to tell you, Ratchet. The database said this planet was deserted ages ago. Wait, we had like a long trip here and you decided not to say anything? <laughs> That's a good point. It made sense because they were on another planet and he had to run away quick that he didn't get to say it then. But they were on the ship. Maybe Clank has to be like, uh, like RTD2, and he has to like ride on the back part of the ship. Okay. 
I need, I need to fix her. her. Oh, very well. This moment always stood out to me as very strange, because it's the first time when Ratchet has an emotional moment in the entire series. Yeah, also, is does that make this... And it's about a ship. <laughs> does that make this uh, planet Metropolis, but in the future? Because no. um, unless somebody stole Ratchet's ship and dumped it here, then why is it here? That's not Ratchet's ship. It oh. looks like one of Ratchet's ships because it was made by the Lombaxes. We're on the Lombax planet. Oh, I thought Ratchet said, oh, this is my ship. I don't think he did. It, it's one of his people's ships, I believe. Okay. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I would need to rewatch the cutscene, and yeah. I'm not going to do that. I think I know what I'm saying, but I wasn't paying attention during the cutscene, so it's possible I am mistaken. All right. Since I'm saying that mostly from memory. That's fine. We got some rare titanium from that. Yes, we get rare titanium from killing things because we have that upgrade. Oh, we do. Yes, that's why it's so good. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I think we have an upgrade on one of our more useful guns as well that does the same thing. Yeah, we had an upgrade on the blaster for that, but it was yes. said more rarity, not you get rarity suddenly. Oh, that's a good point. Maybe we should check the text and see if this one is different, or see if the blaster just also does it and we didn't notice. <laughs> now watch the whip. To be fair, any amount of raritanium is more than none. <laughs> yeah. So we are getting more raritanium by getting any at all. <laughs> An upgrade for your weapon that just says doubles the amount of raritanium you get for killing enemies. <laughs> but like, but oh, it never yeah. gave you any at all. Just like, ah, uh, yes, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, double zero. Upgrades. <laughs> Upgrades. It's a cheems meme. That definitely feels like a cheese meme. I was thinking more like the stonks guy. Oh yeah, that one works too. Have you seen the movie Upgrade? Um, remind me what it is because I don't think. It a dude gets a a dude loses the use of his legs and gets an AI put in his head. Uh, no, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's actually really good. Yeah. Um. Without spoiling too much, I'm gonna say some things that sound like spoilers, but they all happen in like the first like 10, 20 minutes. So. All right. Fine. Um, dude, uh, gets in a car crash, and some fuckers show up, and he's like, "Help! My car flipped." Also, the car was driven by AI, which is why it's weird. It was like a bug in the AI. And then uh, he was like, "Help!" And then the dudes were like. Oh uh, yeah, we'll help you. And then they come over and kill his wife and take a bunch of his money. And also he's crippled now. Okay. And then this rich guy is like, I knew your wife. Here, have an AI that makes your legs work. And then the rest of the movie happens. That sounds kind of dumb, but alright. It's actually a pretty good movie. Um, the only thing that's very uncertain about it is the ending. And I obviously I can't tell you what it's how it ends. But... Some people would not like it, All right. and I can see why some people definitely did not like it. <laughs> but I liked it. Because all I can say is, it's an ending. <laughs> Alright. The, the movie, it ends. <laughs> but I like it, and I, I recommend it. I All wouldn't right. like highly recommend it, it's not one of my favorite films, but it's decent. Okay. There's one scene, the first fucking fight scene in the movie is goddamn incredible, though. Hmm. For that alone, I recommend it. <laughs> Alright. Because, honestly, the way I discovered it was I was watching an analysis of some movie's fight scene, right. and the guy brought up Upgrades and was like, here, watch this five-second clip from Upgrades, and I saw it and went, oh my god, I have to find this movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking light switch where the movie goes from all right, this movie's a little weird, too. Fucking, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's only really good, unfortunately, the first time you see it, though, because it's, like, just a shot. All right. But, yeah, no, that movie knows how to do choreography. Nice. Hey, fuck off. Also, the actor is really good. And the fact that he's an action hero, but 
uh, but the whole premise is that he doesn't actually know how to fight. Also, okay. is really good. Nice. Because he just doesn't know what he's doing. Okay. That's funny. Yeah. It's a very strange dynamic because you almost never get a character who... Like, I can't think of another movie. Like, every other movie, it's either the character starts out like a wimp and has to learn to be tough, or they already are. They're like a hardened veteran or something. Yeah. You don't get a lot of movies where it's like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it's a guy who doesn't know what he's doing, then he's probably, like, a, a side character at, at best. It's a good movie. Yeah. So the fact that they... A guy that doesn't know what they're doing is a main character could be interesting. Yeah, that's true. Also. Yeah. It's a shame that, like... Okay, it just kicks me back. Somehow nobody remembers this movie's existence. Well, I certainly don't. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of people haven't heard of it, but it's definitely worth at least the time to check it out. Alright. I might do that. It's a thing. I think I watched it with Nathan. Lombax Flight Component. Okay. Ah. I don't know if that's the only thing you need, but it's definitely one of the things you need to do the ship. Okay. So that's the plot. <laughs> that's the main, main MacGuffin of this level. Cool. Now we can go back. Yeah. Take a look on the right first. I, I just wanted to... Yeah, okay. I was just... No, I already looked. Yeah. I figured you did. I just wasn't paying attention enough to be 100% sure. And wanted to make sure that there was a wall there. Didn't know if, like, there was maybe a ledge or something. These shits are really annoying. Okay. Hey, we got a level up, though. That's good. What about you, Jacob? Do you have any uh, underrated movies that you any uh, movies that you think are underrated? You know, I'm not really enough of a movie buff to say anything because I don't really watch a lot of movies. That's fair. I'm just like, oh yeah, that was a nice movie. <laughs> next. Yeah. What do I? What am I gonna do next for the rest of the day? Yeah. Fair so, enough. This is also coming from a guy who enjoyed. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> Uh-oh. So, I probably <laughs> shouldn't there. be the one... I, so, I probably shouldn't be the one to, like, be rating movies. Because I'm like, oh, I guess that was good. Even though it was total shit. Okay. I think that some of the things people complain about in that movie are going a little too far is kind of nitpicky. The whole movie is not bad. However... There are some things in it that are so bad that I just can't forgive the rest of the movie like, as a result. so bad, it's bad. Yeah. Okay. So we got a flake component, but I guess we need to search for more. Probably. There's a lot of crates up there. Um... Okay, so, here, here's my opinion of X-Men Origins Wolverine. I actually liked their explanation for his origin story. I know it's not the actual origin story. And I know okay. people will hate me for saying that. This is a very unpopular opinion. All right. But I actually liked their explanation of his origin story and the, the love interest and everything. Okay. I was actually on board with that. What I fucking hate is how that movie ends. And I don't think I have to say this, but spoiler warning for anyone who cares. You shouldn't mm -hmm. care. It's not a good movie. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> but the, uh, the way that it ends is the part that annoys me. Is the thing where... Um, so you know when, uh, when he, so, so, okay, so it's been a while, so I'm trying to remember the exact series of events. So, that, that, like, nuclear silo thing blows up, right? Yeah. That's a thing. And, like, he gets hit in the head or something, and it makes him lose his memory? No, he gets shot in the head. Or he gets shot. Adamantine blow. Okay, yeah, yeah, that. Um, and then... He, like, gets up, and, like, he sees the lady lying on the ground, which was his love interest for the beginning of the film. Yeah. Which was, like, the driving force of the entire film, basically. Yeah. And then he's like, and then the person is like, uh, who's that? Should we do something about that? And he's like, nah, and then just fucking leaves. <laughs> That's the thing that annoys me. Yeah. Like, I liked... 
them coming up with some, even if it's not his original origin story, I don't mind them coming up with a new origin story, and I actually really liked the idea that he's haunted by, um, what happened to his, like, love interest, whatever. Yeah. I don't know if okay. wife or fiancé or whatever. I liked the idea that he was haunted by that, and then yeah. the end of the movie just deletes it from existence. Yeah, it's just like, nah, he had an origin story, but he just doesn't remember it, so it doesn't count. Exactly. It just completely invalidated the rest of the film. Which is unfortunate, because most of the rest of the film I was fine with. I didn't mind the Deadpool stuff, because I didn't know who Deadpool was. Yeah, but now that we know But now that we is, know, it's not okay. It's, it retroactively gets worse. Yeah, no, for sure. However... It made the dead. It indirectly made the Deadpool film better. Yeah, <laughs> because especially, there's a lot of great jokes about Ryan Reynolds in that. Especially Deadpool two. Yeah. Oh yeah, Deadpool two's ending is incredible. And because I love it. you remember what happened. Yeah. No, that's a great fucking. Uh, that was a that was a fantastic scene. Honestly, Deadpool two is a damn near flawless movie in my opinion. Mhm. I just really enjoyed it. Yeah. It was just overall a good movie. Yeah, they had a... Without spoiling the specifics, they found a way to have their cake and eat it too. Yeah. And I'm kind of on board with that. In any other movie, I would think it was a cop-out, but because it's Deadpool, I'm totally fine with it. (laughs) (laughs) Old Western style. It's like old meets new. Whip sound. Don't All actually right. insert a whip sound. <laughs> Alright, so no do we reason. have enough flight components? Apparently no. not. Uh, there's some boxes directly behind you, so that's probably a section you have to go to. Right. right there, yeah. Or maybe not. Oh, maybe it is. Actually, it looks like it goes up somewhere. Yeah. It looks important. Yeah. So clearly, we need to go there. This was actually a pretty smooth transition from the previous game, to be honest. Aside from the better graphics and, uh, well, you don't know about the story yet, but the story is more interesting. Aside from those two things, this game kind of just feels like the last ones. Yeah, a little bit. And it's fine, because the last ones, by the end of three, were at least somewhat decent. (laughs) Yeah, honestly, the only thing that three did badly was, like, the last two or three planets. Which is a shame, because... Because uh, it, the I, final boss was decent. Yeah, the final boss was actually surprisingly decent. Yeah, it was just a real pain to get to. Yeah, the problem is that the last level was utter dog shit, and mm-hmm. then they stuck an annoying ice level in my face. So I, <laughs> I can't exactly give it props for doing that. Yeah, that last ice level um, is exactly the type of thing where it's like, it was like I, I, I'm upset that we had to deal with this. It was utter horse shit. But it was kind of funny to watch. <laughs> uh, utter horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hopefully that's it. I think it is. That's four components. There could be a fifth. I wouldn't be too surprised. So, yeah, okay. where's the fifth? Have you gone in that building? Uh... Shit, that building looks familiar. Oh, here we go. This is something new. It's interesting that they actually kept the architecture consistent in the later. Huh. Why? There's a. I think there's a cutscene later. I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene where this building appears. Uh, that's, I don't even know if it's in this game, but that's not consistency. That's called reused assets. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I. I... I can't defend myself without spoiling anything, so I just won't. Alright, fine. (laughs) I guess I'll eat my words later when I realize just how awesome this is. It's not particularly awesome, it's just a bit of consistency that I was like, huh. I had never noticed that. Alright. And I might be wrong, I'm not 100% sure. I'm I'm not able to completely photographic memory it, but... But I just saw it and went, huh, I think I know that place. (laughs) Alright. So maybe I'm the one who's an idiot here, I don't know. Alright. Let's see... But it's not as it's not as simple as reused assets, though, for sure. Alright, fine. <laughs> Alright, that's another flight component. Ayy, five is the magic number, so... It's like, yes, let's absorb these flight components into my chest. Five is a magic number, so hopefully that's the last one. 
Yeah, because it didn't give us like a checkbox of how many we needed to get. Exactly. So. Rotanian test. Yep. Definitely still stocking that. Oh, oh shit! I'm surprised that worked. It looked like something that would work. It did, but then you hit it and nothing happened on the first hit, and it made a clink sound, which sounded like yeah. you were just hitting a wall. So then when you hit it again and it worked, I was really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> right. I went through a very emotional roller coaster yeah. of whether that was going to work or not. <laughs> cool. All Looks right. like we got what we came for. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the ship yet again to see if this works. This is a really cool gadget. Just in theory. Yeah, the jetpack. Yeah, the underwater jetpack thing. That's neat. I'm glad this exists. Yeah. Because otherwise this would be way too long of a section. Agreed. It's also just like... It's one of those things that makes you think like... Oh, fuck. We're gonna need more, apparently. I think we might have missed something in that area, actually. Alright. Um, but it's one of those things that's like... Hey, that'd be cool to have in real life. I mean, sort of, as like a novelty. Yeah. I can't really see anyone other than scuba divers actually wanting one of these, though. I mean, I don't scuba dive, but I would be interested in scuba diving, and I feel like that would be a cool way to do it. I mean, maybe... Alright. Little propellers like that. It's, it's just like a weird amount of, like... I, not... It's like... Futuristic, but not. You know. Mm. I I don't I don't see it. I'm just saying, like you could do that, like in real life, you could make propellers like that. Yeah, you could make propellers, but but as far as I'm aware, nobody has those types of personal propellers. Yeah. So it's like futuristic, but very attainable. Yeah, it definitely. If nothing else, looks like something that could exist in real life. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I see, see, there's that ledge up on the right, which I might be crazy, but it looked like you... It looked like there was too much detail up there for that to be something you're just supposed to ignore. Alright. Maybe try jumping up on the ground and see if you can see up there better. Maybe there's a way to go around and get up there, I don't know. Yeah, see, that just looks like an odd amount of detail to put into something that's... I don't know, man. ...not reachable. I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, maybe you can't reach it from here, though. This might be something that ends up being a thing in the, a later part of the level. It could be. Because I don't see where... But the thing is, I don't think there is a later part of the level. Because I'm pretty sure you just repair the ship and leave. Because Clank told you you needed to get out of here. And the only reason you're still here is because Ratchet insisted upon building that ship. Yeah, honestly, I don't see anywhere I can get up there. Yeah, I think you have to go around somewhere. But I'm pretty sure that is where you need to get. I just don't know how to get there. Uh. <laughs> what? Uh. You okay? I'm f I'm, f I, I'm just bored right now. Yeah. Get out of the pool. Okay, so... Are there, any, there are no doors here. No, so it's gotta be if you head out of here and take a right, maybe. See if there's a. That looks like something. Ah, oh, fuck. A clank level. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, but also not right. Okay. Uh, okay, so Clank's got these force ghosts over here helping him out. Yeah. Do not be afraid. We are here to help you destroy it. We are... Destroy <laughs> what? We, Ratchet! <laughs> we are the green aliens from Toy Story. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> You're kinda right, I don't like that. Yeah, you've got your, uh, follow button again. Okay. Fucking follow me, bitch. You gotta activate it while you're near them. I did. You weren't near them. I, 
I just, I just did. I don't think you selected it. What is I did going on? I'm holding down the fire button. No, it's not a weapon. That's the thing. Do you, do you not remember how the previous clank levels? I guess I've been doing the clank levels the last two games. Go over to them. Yeah. Open the weapon wheel. M move your stick to it, and then release. There you go. I thought I just did that. No, you didn't select it. And then you press the fire button, but the fire button doesn't do it. I don't know what it does. Apparently, it does something else, but it's not that. You know, I was, I was. Told oh, there you go. Slow time. That's what it does. Alright. You know, I. Yeah, you know, I could have sworn that I had done, like I. Had no, I could see that it didn't get highlighted. I don't know how that happened, but I could tell it didn't get highlighted. Huh. Oh my god, they keep chanting Will that. These guys fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> They're just chanting. These doors pose no threat to you, sire. That, that is incredibly annoying. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe levitation. I don't know. Oh shit. Uh, okay, I can oh. only do that for like half a second. That's neat. All right, I guess that's a thing. The the panels are timed, I think. Yep, I heard it about to run out. <laughs> There's also more rare candy behind it. Looks like I got all the panels. Yes. Veritanium is such a cliche, like, scientific name. Um, like, not like, okay, not like cliche as in it's used a lot, but like, the naming convention is used a lot. Like the IU. It's rare to attain, therefore it's rare attainium. Yeah. It just sounds like a generic sci-fi name. Yeah, that's a better way. To... Yeah, yeah. It does. It does sound like a generic. Yeah. It was like, like, oh, if we want to have another an extra harder to find currency, what are we gonna call it? Rare attain. Yeah. It's just like I think there's a metal in. Is it the Marvel universe called unobtainium or something? Um, or is it Star Wars? It's, it's one know. of those. It's one of those big franchises. I don't really follow the Star Wars lore that much. Yeah. That sounds like something that would be really good. Yeah. There's definitely. I don't know if it's Star Wars or Marvel or. It's one of the big franchises. It, that's called Unobtainium, and it's like seriously. <laughs> so now we need to do the levitation and this simultaneously. Yes. Good timing. There you go. Jackpot. Noise. But why is Jack stuck in a pot? <laughs> and why is this such a desirable situation? <laughs> Jackpot. I don't care whose pot it is. I don't want it in my house. Pot is for the devil. <laughs> I actually, um... Not too long ago, watched um, uh, Clone High. Okay. Because there were so many memes from it. Oh, okay. This is something we gotta do. Select manipulate. Fix. <laughs> they are the fucking aliens from Toy Story. Yes. I could tell it right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to bother me for <laughs> quite a while. Okay, I guess they'll just fight for me for free. That's good. It's annoying that you have to command them to do that. So I guess it's cool that they're just like, yeah, we'll just fight. Because yeah, these guys are a little more intelligent than... A little bit more. Yeah. Oh, more dudes. My army. <laughs> so it begins. 
we've begun the operation. <laughs> What's next? I love how probably nobody in the fucking world knows what we're referring to when we say we've begun the operation. <laughs> <laughs> that is just the in-joke of in-jokes, honestly. Yeah. It feels so natural, like it should be an actual meme, and yet... Yeah. And yet... And yet, oh, it's only us. <laughs> no, just us. That's it. I, I've definitely shown that on a stream in the past, or on a video in the past. Oh, oh you've got to. There you go. Very good. That was impressive. Do you have a limited time you can hold that for? I don't know. Oh, uh, love it. Yeah, there you go. Um, I've definitely shown that on our channel what in the, the past. Shit. Oof. I pressed limit. That definitely has a limited time. <laughs> I, I thought that I did that right. Yeah, you did. I think you just have to be more precise with your timing on how quickly you do it. Because, um, you pressed levitate. You were levitating. You just weren't levitating for long enough, so I think you need to be yeah, quicker. Well, yeah, okay. see? You, you had to be really precise. You have to be frame perfect on Oh! <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> what is this poor shit? <laughs> Also, all the all the other things dying with you was kind of funny. They just let me their way off the edge of they the They really cliff. did. Mm, okay. You really should slow time for that. Alright, you made it. Dude, why does Clank canonically get all the cool shit? I mean, aside from Vince? Not in gameplay, but like... Well, he gets to be a movie star, I and mean, he gets a fucking army of dudes following him. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think you gotta I'm, I'm manipulate sure. that. Dude, I'm not an idiot. I'm well, you weren't doing it. I was collecting shit. I only said it because you were running out of time to do it. Well, then I'll just press the buttons again. <laughs> I think that was it. Oh, because it got the door. Yeah. Here we go. Finally. Hopefully, that's it for the clank level. Yeah. How do you think this clank level is uh, compared to previous ones? Uh, it's a lot more bearable, I guess. Hmm. Okay. The fact that they just kind of kill kill shit for you. Um, yeah, it makes it better for yeah. at least combat-wise because the clank fighting stuff sucks. Yeah, it doesn't slow to a halt while you wait for them to kill everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he has an account. Ratchet probably does. He probably uses Ratchet's account. Well, no, because it's in the future, they probably close his account. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Are we going backwards? Well, this is probably just returning me to the beginning of the level. Ah, you so you got what you came for? Yeah, we got the ship part, so now we can go. I missed that somehow, but that's probably just because I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so does this game just give us bulk amounts of bolts all at once? Uh, what do you mean by that? Because we just got like 10,000 bolts all of a sudden in like two seconds. I don't know. Maybe. 
Yeah, pay attention, and I think you'll see that we're getting like huge chunks on. Like at story moments? Let's get to work. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Is he trying to start it like an old Volkswagen? <laughs> Are those the noises that I heard? What is this? A talking ship. Somehow I'm not surprised. Also, because it's funny, I'm going to point out that uh, I'm pretty sure that ship like never talks again. <laughs> <laughs> it might once or twice, but it's definitely not significant. I'm gonna use the bathroom while you're cleaning. Right. Running more. <laughs> So, all right, so we need to know why Tachyon is here. Okay, so the uh, apparently the Lombaxes are like the super race in the game. Um, bro, where are they? They're dead. Asma, okay. Alright. It's time to get inside this shit. Have you ever played Jack and Jack? Uh, I played like the first half an hour. What'd you think of that? You have been invited to participate in the big fish study. Witness the greatest, bloodiest, goriest battle in the universe. The Imperial Fight Festival. <laughs> it's the obligatory Coliseum level. <laughs> Every game has, an, has a Coliseum level. And at yes. one point, there is a game that just is of Coliseum level. And that was yep. Deadlocked. <laughs> like Captain Quag. Means it's probably a train trap, but it's our only lead. Let's go see what he's got himself into. Um, yeah, I was just curious about Jack and Dexter because I've actually never played it. Oh, so we finally get to a level select screen. Yeah. The Cerulean Sector. So we might have more sectors. Interesting. I don't remember this uh, because it's been a while. And it looks like um, Planet Murkow is our destination because it's glowing. Yes. Also, what is this supposed to be like a giant plate of meatball spaghetti? What, below I, us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess Like it's of, just but... spaghetti and marinara sauce. Yeah, or like an oil spill. Maybe. Imperial Flight Festival. Alright, we're going. Here we go. Oh. Ah, yeah, I get the fucking Coliseum world. God damn it. This is gonna be one of those games for me. It's, oh. gonna, it's gonna be one of those uh, ratchet games where I get all the crap levels and you get all the good ones. <laughs> the scales have finally tipped back in my favor. I mean, for the most part, there was a pretty good balance in three. It's just that I got easily the worst one. Which one is. Oh, the ice level. The ice level. Right. The depths of the universe? Yeah, I guess, like... I don't know. Oh, fuck! Oh! I spoke too soon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this is the one where it's actually okay. It's basically Star Fox. Oh, it's just knocked off Star Fox. Yeah, actually, what's weird is it has dual joystick controls. You have separate aiming from your dodging. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's actually pretty decent, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit... It is a lot to comprehend, though. As you can see me... Confused occasionally. I guess. Uh, uh, because I gotta keep track of the two positions on my screen. Yeah. I mean, Star Fox seems to do it, right? Yeah, Star Fox knew how to do it. This game, I actually think, is a pretty decent twist on that formula, though. 
Mm -hmm. um, because one of the only complaints I have about Star Fox is that... Uh, I mean, I think that it's probably a good idea to move to dual joystick controls. Because yeah. it gives you more precise control. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's case, what I was trying to say, but my brain shut off because there was dialogue happening. No, that's alright. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> um. Sorry, I also had to listen to that. So I guess there's also a charge shot like Ratchet and Clank. I mean, uh, like Star Fox. Okay. Is it just and that's also just like Star Fox. Yeah. Welcome to a more accurate Star Fox game than 90% of the Star Fox games. Yeah, but like most of the Star Fox games weren't trying to be Star Fox. Yeah, which explains why they failed to be Star Fox. <laughs> they were trying to like do like risky shit. Yeah. And it always ended up backfiring on me. Yeah. I mean, what are you supposed to do once you make a perfect game like Star Fox 64? <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there, there would have been ways to improve Star Fox 64 if they had tried. Yeah, they just didn't. They were like, this is good. We don't need to add to this. We'll just do something else now. Yeah, well, I mean, the actual uh, flight sections in... Uh, Star Fox Assault definitely feel very well polished. Yeah, the flight sections are pretty good. Like stuff that you even the on ground stuff isn't terrible. It just you, you're you're given tank controls. Yeah, and it's a little floaty too. Yeah, which I don't know why you're given tank controls for like a like third person shooter. Yeah, it's it's kind of wonky. The thing about that game is it's not bad. It's also not great. Yeah. At least it tries to do yeah. Star Fox. It just was extremely experimental. Yeah. That's that's what I would call it. That's what I would call a lot of yeah. these games, too. Yeah, these games do tend to experiment a lot. They do. They're very experimental, and they often do, like, risky shit. Yeah. But the thing game. is, usually the thing that they innovate on isn't the main gameplay. Like... Okay, so they, they make a lot of minor quality of life changes, but most of them are positive to the main gameplay. But the stuff that they really do weird shit with is usually the side stuff like this. Yeah. So they play it a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. Also, do we know what we're going after here? I don't know, but Probably that looks there. exactly like fucking Saturn. No, or Jupiter. Jupiter, I meant to say. So I was just saying, oh, do we know what we're doing here? And then we immediately find this boss. Game. Yeah. So I don't. I guess that's. I it. thought you meant plot-wise, what we're doing here. Well, plot, to, the answer to which is I have no idea. The plot. No, the plot answer is we got fucking uh, hung up by this guy. Yeah, but I mean, what are we doing in this uh, coliseum? Oh, we're looking for court. Yeah, because that was totally this course. I'd like to point out that that ring attack I didn't even realize was an attack, and I dodged by pure coincidence. Nice. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, it's a tracking shot. Oh, that's like Andros's final attack. Or, uh, the thing in Sector 9 or whatever it's called? Yeah, Sector 9. Is that what that one is? That's it. Okay, cool. Also, this left side is like the secret boss in the first area. Yeah. It's, this is very clearly borrowing from Star Fox. Mm -hmm. But the dual joystick thing is a nice innovation. Yeah, it feels like something that Star Fox should have. Yeah. Maybe if they decided to pull their heads out of their asses, <laughs> they would actually make a game with this kind of controls. Yeah. Like, I'm totally fine with Star Fox 64 the way it is. I love Star Fox 64. I think it's a good, great game. But, I wouldn't mind a game like this. From if they that. did a dual joystick version of yeah. Star Fox 64, that would make the yeah. game even better. Although I would greatly prefer a completely new game. Yeah, really? Because Zero was just, it was just pretty much that. It was a reinvention of 64. Yeah. Unfortunately, the mechanics were not as solid as this. <laughs> it was kind of like, yeah, we're just going to tread the same ground as before, but... 
do it slightly worse. Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty accurate uh, summary. Because the control scheme is a bit wonky. Well, at least we can confirm absolutely that it's Quark. Yeah, so if Quark is alive, then we can't be more than, like, one or two decades out. At most. Yeah. And I don't even think it's that, because I'm pretty sure Quark doesn't look any different. If he's no different looking, then it might have been only, like, five years. Yeah. It was enough time for Tachyon to take over the uh, galaxy. Yeah. But not enough time for any of the known characters to die, except for maybe the ones that we just kind of randomly wrote out of the canon. Yeah. Because that did happen to some people. Namely, Sasha, Angela, maybe Big Al? I don't know if he comes back or not. Well, I know that Sasha is probably dead, but uh, as far as Angela, you have to actually think. That took place in a different galaxy than this one. That's and true. And Tachyon over, only took over this galaxy. Tachyon also does say that we're the last Lombax, though. Yeah, but Tachyon doesn't know about the other guys. They, they don't really seem concerned about what's going on in there. I guess Tachyon wouldn't know necessarily everything. But I, I know that she doesn't show up again, and that fact means that I assume she's just kind of gone, written out of the canon. I'm sure that... Angela is living her best life over in <laughs> Andromeda or whatever. <laughs> well put, thank it's, you. It's just, she, she doesn't... Hey, bada bing! Bada boom. Bada boom. Sorry. Yeah. Each missile, okay, I guess we're just not going to know what okay, this Each missile do. becomes equipped with a polonium ion concussion detonator. These detonators are extremely effective at knocking your enemies down. That's giving you a strategic tactical advantage. So it just pushes them down. What I, what I know about these later games um, is that uh, a lot of their upgrades are very passive. Okay. So they're the types of things that you want to buy because they make a difference, but you won't have to play any differently. Yeah. So that's why I'm just kind of buying shit blindly. That's why I'm just kind of buying shit blindly because... I mean, I, re I would prefer to actually read what the ultimates do. Okay, I'll look at the ultimates at least. Um, I was trying to unlock the ultimate of the other one, and I didn't. I kind of want this tornado launcher. <laughs> I mean, come on. Trailer park sold separately. <laughs> that seems kind of cool, too. But let's start with this. Alright, let's do this shit. Oh, f oh, fuck. Oh, no. This was a mistake. <laughs> Can we get a refund? <laughs> uh... I can't believe is all, does all ammo cost the same in this? I can't you can't even buy ammo here. Why does it even say ammo as an option? Also, okay, you buy all ammo at once anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. They uh, just don't even give you the option to buy them individually anymore. Oh shit! This is actually kind of great! <laughs> oh, that was a clip. <laughs> I mean, they're, it, they're pretty strong though. Yeah, no, that's alright. I'll stick with this for now, but... I kind of like that tornado launcher, actually. <laughs> it is going to be one more axis I have to worry about. Speaking of Star Fox Zero. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, still. Alright, what is going on here? What is this shit? It looks like it's just a statue. It's like a big fucking pylon. Yeah, but I think... It's a dick statue, look at it. Uh, I don't really see it. I'd have to be one fucked up dick to look like that. Well, it's square, which is weird, but... It's the cube. Yeah. From, uh... Critical Role Season 1. Hmm. You know, I don't think that was the correct direction. I do have to wonder if sometimes uh, Nintendo prefers to innovate for innovation's sake sure. as opposed to making good games. They do seem to do that. Okay. At least they tell you about that this time. Well, in the last one, they actually told us where to get it. This one didn't. Yeah. But in one of the earlier ones, they didn't tell you shit. 
because, you know, instead of making, like, a refinement on the Star Fox franchise... Yeah, they completely reinvented it every time. Yeah, they're just like, yeah, let's just do something weird. Be yeah. Just because. That's true. I almost feel I like... Can almost, um, I can forgive Star Fox Adventures because it was never supposed to be one to begin with. I was about to say the exact same thing. I mean, I mean the exact opposite thing, which is I think Star Fox Adventures is responsible for all the problems Star Fox has, and not yeah. because not because Adventures is bad, but because it was never intended to be a Star Fox game, and they forced Star Fox into it, which just caused a complete identity crisis in what Star Fox is. I mean, uh, yeah. I felt like they still could have figured it out later on, but the problem was, but they showed with assault that they could do sure a good Star Fox but they chose not <laughs> because there's parts of assault that feel like 64 yes for sure but then they're like oh let's throw in some ground combat that's kind of lame honestly want, I want there to be ground combat I just don't want it to be that bad and the thing is it's not that terrible it's just flawed it's just like it needs refining I don't know. I felt like there's no need for ground combat in a Star Fox game if, unless you're inside a Landmaster while you're doing it. Yeah. Because I the guess. point of Star Fox is that you're driving big weapons and you're blowing shit up. You're driving vehicles and you destroy shit. That's kind of like the core gameplay. I guess. I always just thought of it as like sci fi commando thing. And so I didn't really think about like core gameplay necessarily. And perhaps this is, comes from the fact that I played it mostly when I was a kid. But I just wanted to see just more types of gameplay in this same universe and concept. Yeah. But like, don't that, that doesn't mean throw out the fucking original. You know? Right. I'm fine with them adding new, new types of things to it. I just don't think they should fuck with the stuff that works. Right. Now keep the stuff that works, change the stuff that doesn't, and eventually it'll all work. Yeah, if you keep getting at it. Yeah. I mean, this game series clearly proved that the that <laughs> method works. Yeah. They're just like, well, the first one was okay. I don't know why people bought it, but I guess it sold well enough to warrant a sequel. Yeah. And then they just kept innovating until we get here. Yeah, they just gradually tweaked it until it worked. The, the reason why the first one sold as well as it did is because it was released in a time where this concept was new and novel, and so yeah. there wasn't, like, better things to compare it to. Yeah, this is probably before Call of Duty became popular. Uh... Call of Duty, I think, became popular right around the same time. Because, uh, PS2 was the big era for Call of Duty with games like World at War. Really? Because I thought that Modern Warfare was what really made it start getting good. Well, I mean, like, mainstream, yeah, but, but World at War was the first one that uh, well, yeah, I can under set the COD formula of this is what COD is. And it's pretty solidly built. In terms of gameplay, at least. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that, but I can also be like, yeah, the game COD wasn't really mainstream until Modern Warfare came out. Yeah, but there's a difference between mainstream and, like, established as a as a game, like, with way, the way it works. Like, World at War is a known game. It's like a game that, yeah, it wasn't, like, the big, huge, amazing game at the time, right? It wasn't, like, the one that everyone played, like Modern Warfare was. But it was, like, regarded as a solid game. And it was... It, it's not like they didn't sell copies of it. They sold plenty. Yeah, fair point. It was a known game. But anyway, my point is, I think I think this and COD sort of created the the sort of these style of 3D games, mm -hmm. 3D shooting games. Yeah, and like the first one's like, well, we maybe really don't know how to yeah. do this kind of game yet. Yeah, maybe not created, but they brought it into this era. And, the, and sort of were in the, the era of things being built this way. Because mm -hmm. obviously, uh, Wolfenstein and Doom and those created it. But... Yeah, I mean, they created it, but they didn't. But... Not like this. Yeah, but Wolfenstein and Doom were originally on what, PC. Yeah. So they needed to find a control scheme that worked. 
and quake after it as well. Yeah. And they eventually did find their control system. Yeah, but it only works in those original games. I would be curious what what created the modern FPS and third person shooter as well. TPS, I guess. Yeah, because the modern S FPS has a very specific control scheme. Oh, you know what I think it was? I think Halo was one of the first. That could be it. Halo, I think, was one of the because first that big was, ones. like, one of the first games released for the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, I think Halo was the one that actually technically created the... I was never an Xbox person, so I never really cared that much, mm -hmm. but... I mean, we might be really off base here, but I I'm... think we're getting on this. I'm pretty sure Halo is the one, and then shortly followed by Call of Duty. Right. But my point is, anyway, <laughs> the reason why we got into the entire thing... My point is that this game was released in that era, at least. Yeah. So, it was, it's kind of excusable mm -hmm. in that um, it wasn't entirely refined yet. Yeah. But, goddamn if they didn't. They, because they were still figuring shit out. And yeah. then for the sequel, it was like, yeah, you gotta figure this shit out now. Yeah. There's no excuses anymore. Mm -hmm. They had other people to work from, and they also had their own past experience to work from. Yeah. And they they did a good job of improvement. Mm -hmm. I mean, 2 was still a little iffy. Yeah, it was a gradual improvement. <laughs> but at least they recognized that you needed something like straight mode. Yeah. But they didn't really make it work until just recently. Yeah. I think 3 was the first one that I think was like decently good. Yeah. Like, that I had no major issues with. And then this one finally just took the last leap I needed. I don't know, I don't really feel much of a difference gameplay-wise between this one and the other. Well, yeah, but 3 was already pretty good. This one, uh, the only major thing they changed okay, was... What does um, the voltage multiplier do? Voltage multiplier increases the range of this weapon's electrical Ooh. shockwave. This greatly improves the weapon's usefulness in dense... Close quarters combat. Oh, so it's a huge range boost. That could be interesting. Yeah, or maybe the shockwave is like something that releases when you kill with it. Maybe. Either way. We will soon find out. Yes. This is the perfect place to test that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a wombat. <laughs> Heh. I'm like, nobody likes him. Let the battle begin! I guess he has to put on a mustache <laughs> to make it not look like it's him. Yeah. I love how that does almost nothing to hide the fact that he is, in fact, a Lombax. And since yeah. he is the only Lombax, that's kind of, you know... And it would probably be really easy to point it out. Yeah. And also, it doesn't even matter if it's Ratchet or not. The fact that it is a Lombax means with Tachyon would want to kill him. Yeah. So, like... Because he's just being petty and whatnot. Yeah, so, like, basically none of this means anything. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently it works. Yeah. Because this is a video game, and it's a video game that takes itself seriously enough to have a story, but not seriously enough to care about details like that. Like, they basically just straight up bugs for me, this situation. Yeah. It's a weird balance when you think about it. Of, like, serious story and, like, really stupid moments that have to, that are yeah. almost break immersion, but not quite. I mean, at this point, it's really hard to tell whether they're going for the, uh... Saturday morning cartoon angle, or for the sort of more serious Avatar The Last Airbender angle. I think they're basically in Pixar territory, where it's like, we have a serious plot and message, but also we're fine with making stupid jokes. Okay, but at, I, I feel Fuck. like Pixar usually stays away from like the intentionally corny shit. Something that I never Maybe. really thought that... Pixar did was just do extremely important shit just for the sake of it. 
I guess, but they still have lots of, like, just dumb jokes. They do have dumb jokes, but they don't have a lot of core in I guess. There's a, there's a subtle difference. What the fuck? This is the shit we haven't been using. Oh. That's... The, the sludge of death comes in turns. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's sentient slime. It's fine by me. Seems to work. I guess this is the new glove of doom. Yet. Let's go, let's test out this shock and see what its new capabilities are. Oh. Mustache, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Should have known this was coming. Sure. Okay. Is this doing anything? It's I doing something. Yeah, because you can see that its health is going. Just not a lot, and it requires me to be in close. The fact that you need to constantly strafe means it's harder to think. Oh fuck! What the? Uh, do I press something? Are you just like mashing? Yeah. Okay. okay. It just, Let's not use this. It just deals a fuck ton of damage. You know what I think it's time for? The Groovatron. The first use of the Groovatron. Just to see how it works. If it even works on bosses. Look <laughs> it! It works on bosses. Yeah. The Groovatron is a meme and it's a great meme at that. Is this melting him? I feel like this should be melting. It did not melt him. Okay, so don't use the tornado thing on bosses. Alright. But I got all my ammo back, so it's fine. Oh, he's blowing out now. He's gonna push me off. Well, I'm not gonna get blown by no shark today. <laughs> I thought it was more of a frog. I don't know. It looks like a shark. I guess. But like a really heavily modified. Maybe. Maybe it's like a, a beach or something? Yeah, I was going to say, it looks more like a slug from this angle. Beach or slug. You remind me of me when I was a young fighter. LA is shorter, less traffic. Or, or, do you mind telling us what you're doing working with Tachyon? Oh, just a little thing I like to call saving the universe. What? There I was, surrounded by Tachyon's minions, perched on the brink of certain death, staring into the icy precipice of the inevitable. I knew I had to take action. I engaged my foes, channeling days of kung fu classes, and dispatching my crouching dippy style with lethal precision. But alas, these rock hard pecs and unbridled machismo can only hold on for so long. After destroying two thousand of them, my lucky shot ready to be unconscious. For the safety of the good citizens of Kurwan, <laughs> I swore allegiance to Tachyon's army and became cool. his confidant. Which means Which you means used your powers, powers as a world class, class suck-up suck up to, to save, save your own high. high. Oh, little call of air, little call of air. Here, take this. It'll explain it's everything. everything. Uh, the ethical relay is damaged, but maybe you can find a ship to play it on. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Cork, Cork was a villain in two games and now he just gets shit on for the rest of time. <laughs> Alright, um good enough for him. I'd love to play some of these optional things, but I've been playing for a while. Uh, so I guess I'll pass it back to you. I mean, honestly, after the, uh, getting cock and ball tortured, there's really not much you can come back from <laughs> yeah. that. You can't go anywhere from there. Alright, so I'm to all just exit. Keep in mind that this arena exists. What are these words you're saying to me? Helipods? Ah, <laughs> oh, cool. Weird and situational, like a lot of previous gadgets. But huh. cool, I guess. I wonder if you can attach them to enemies and just carry them off. That would be awesome, and I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a try next time, though. It's your turn, so you might as well. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's find out what Tachyon's up to. Oh no, it's Quark's entire homework folder. 
<laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't want to know what he's into. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a thing. Do you think this Lombax secret could be the weapon to use to vaporize the Krag mines? Whatever it is, we need to get to it before Tachyon does. Okay, I guess we have our main plot now. Yep. Nundak asteroid ring. It took what? One, two, three, four. Five planets, but now we've got it. I mean... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. If you consider the main plot to be when you... find out about the MacGuffin that is the... thing, then yeah. Yeah. That's true. I mean, we've been trying to oppose the Kragmites, like, this whole time, almost. Yeah. We at least have, like, a an end goal now. Yeah. I see your point. <laughs> Is this another flying section? No. Okay, I guess we're just here. Okay. Oh, there's one of those pods here. Oh, uh, instant cutscene. <laughs> What's even the point? <laughs> transport to the station. <laughs> how do we get the launch code? We all we all are the, the owner of that their station is being custom visitors. And why should we trust you? You, you ejected us into space. Apologies, <laughs> my friend. Tell you what, allow, allow us to us make it up to you. Some space pirates from our donors have offered us bolts for the body of the souls. Why, if you were to go and fetch some for we would happily give you a large cut. What the fuck? This guy is just intentionally over the top sinister now. Yep. Just all of a sudden, too. Yep. Nah, he's just a profiteer. He just wants you to give him shit to to keep all right, progressing. How many souls do we need? Well, well, thank you, thank you, thank you friendly friend. Transport missiles, Take care now. I guess. Oh, this is the guy that you sell them to as well. All right. I guess the three we got were required. Alright, I guess three is what we needed. Oh, good thing I got that, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Now we can just progress right away, instead of having to backtrack. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I typically try to do as much what, of what seems to be side content as possible. Oh, uh, maybe that will work on enemies. You gotta get closer. You would probably need to be just right on. Uh, nah. Nah, that ain't, this ain't it. This ain't it, Chief. Alright, it was worth a shot, though. Yeah, that's a shame. That would be a type of cool shit that would be fun to do. Yeah. More games need to do that where they have a... a item for required story item, but also it can be used in combat. Yeah. Like, uh, old... Well, not old, but like, uh, a decent amount of, um, Legend of Zelda games. Yeah, some of the Legend of Zelda games definitely do that well. Yeah. I know some of the Metroid games also do that well. Mmm. Depending on which game you're looking at. Yeah, it all, it, it all depends. Although, most useless item in a Zelda game, the top. 
Um, one. It's used in one dungeon for a required segment, and then it has no use outside of that. That's fun. Yeah, it's used in the dungeon you get it, that's it. Oof. Technically, there are, like, secret areas you can access with it later in the game. And it does damage enemies, but the thing is, it deals incredibly small damage and opens you up to being hit very easily. Yeah. So it's really not worth it. It's just a meme item after that. Ironically, on the other hand, best Zelda item, also from the same game, is the fucking ball. The ball and chain thing. Oh, you mean God? Yes, God. From Twilight Princess. <laughs> Have I introduced you to my religion yet? <laughs> I just instantly beat these random innocent dudes to death. Okay, so I guess we can uh, speak to this guy then. Yeah. Free money. It's free money. Okay, we were supposed to go here the whole time. Yeah. I thought you knew that, I just thought you were getting all the optional stuff. No. Which I would have preferred you do anyway. <laughs> it takes me a while to find shit. Ah. Oh! Oh no. More gravity sections. Try jumping. Okay, you're fine. At least we can jump. Yeah. It's not that bad. This was made in 2007, so I guess they, they were like, ooh, can we do Mario Galaxy? <laughs> I wonder if we can do Mario Galaxy. It's funny, because they did do Mario Galaxy before this. Yeah, before Mario Galaxy existed. Exactly. This is really impressive when you think about it. Yeah, and they actually did an okay job of it. Yeah, it's nothing spectacular. They don't use it to its full potential like Galaxy did. Yeah. But they use it, and it works. It is functional, albeit not great. Ninety-six percent rating. Four point three out of five by GameStop. What this? Yeah, two thousand seven. Yeah. I wanted to fact check the two thousand seven. Well, I saw it on the title screen. Ah, I figured you did. But... It sounded early to me. It sounded like this game shouldn't be that old. Okay. But I it is. see how it is. I just didn't think this game was 13 years old. Yeah, well, that really puts things into perspective. Yeah. I have a sister who's only 11 years old. Wow. This game's older than your sister. Yeah. Now, do you have to move, or does it, or do you automatically Fuck move with the panel you. when you jump off of it? What? Do you move with the panel when you jump off of it, or do you have to hold forward? Um, I actually wasn't paying attention. Apparently you move with the pen. Okay. That's good. It'd be very annoying if you didn't. Yeah, I know that there are games that do that. They are also not good games. Typically. Let's see, this game was 2007. Yeah. So in the 13 years since, they have released Quest for Booty, Kraken Time, uh, All for One, Full Frontal Assault, uh, Into the Nexus. I think that's it. Okay. We're not playing all of those, but in three of those we are. And now they're coming out with Rift Apart. Yeah. Which, they skipped an entire generation of okay. console. Well, yeah, because for the PS4... They only had the remake. And they were, they were trying to get, like... They, they were trying to follow FPS trends, for the most part, that generation. That's true. Also, Insomniac released Spider-Man for the PS4. So they were working on that. That's guess, the same but company. how long could that have taken? Well, obviously, it didn't take the whole console generation, but... I'm sure they did other things, too. It's just that Insomniac oh, yeah. hasn't been working on this. Mm -hmm. So they're still around. They just haven't been doing Ratchet and Clank. Okay. I tried to double jump, and the game just said no. Oof! Um, man, I'm, I'm hyped for Rift Apart. I hope it comes out good. 
I don't yeah. see any reason why it wouldn't, but... Yeah, I mean, it's been in production probably for a while. Yeah. It's gonna be a launch oh. title. Well, I don't know if it's... They said it's gonna be in the window of the release date of the PS5, so... So it's gonna be like a pseudo-launch title. Yeah. It's still a selling point for the PS5. Yeah. Early enough that it's a selling point. Yeah. Honestly, I hope it's real early, because I want to get it immediately. <laughs> Or not. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Literally, they fucking Sony did the only thing that could make me buy the PS4 on release day, which is announce a new Ratchet and Clank title. <laughs> because I was thinking at the time, I was like, eh, I'm gonna wait a while for the price point to go down on the PS5. And then they were like, new Ratchet and Clank. Like, well, I <laughs> guess we're going in. Fuck you, Sony. Guess I'm buying it. <laughs> Apogee Station. Okay. Oh, yay. We're finally in Apogee. Uh huh. Welcome to Apogee. Also, there's a ton of crates over there. Well, I'm kind of busy not dying. Really. Hmm. So there must be something pretty important here. Also, uh, if this is something that we found off of that hologram, then. Canonically, um, this place got assaulted by the Kragmites and survived. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Supposedly explains why they're on guard. Yeah. All we gotta do is outdo the Kragmites, which isn't that hard. Yeah, honestly. They're kind of idiots. Plasma beasts. Let's just mini Nancy it up. <laughs> okay, these guys are getting ravaged. And I guess I can feel them. <laughs> Some of you may die, but that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, double bolts. Minion Nancy. Well, that didn't take long. This thing must have- oh, I was gonna say, this thing must have pretty high damage. Yeah, we did max his damage out, so. Win one upgrade. Mm-hmm. Youthful activities. <laughs> Dude, I'm raiding your place. <laughs> Not playing ball. <laughs> Apparently. You should probably be better off actually just hitting it with a wrench, but too late now. Uh, the wrench the deals less damage. Yeah, but you'd have more control of where you were standing and you wouldn't get ganked by it. Plus, if you're up close and behind it, it's going to take a while to turn towards you. Well, you could do that with the whip, too. I just didn't think to get behind it. Your mind defenses. Ah. You mean this pathetic excuse of a defense? <laughs> Whoa, are those, uh. What? Uh, yeah. 
I don't know how you. Oh, there's a bomb here. I see. Oh, and a Groovatron ball to go with it. Oh, so they actually do follow you. Yeah, apparently. So way to get out of here. Yeah, right yeah. Here. It's kind of hidden because everything's all kind of the same color. What? Apparently that doesn't That's work. That's bullshit. That is actual bullshit. Yeah, a little. Also, no checkpoint up until now. Apparently not. Alright, I'm gonna hit it. So I need something that doesn't change my position. So, like any other gun. <laughs> yeah. So I just need to dance around it and then that'll be it. Yeah. So suck it sucks though that they spawn them near the walls. Yeah. Well I mean it kinda makes sense why they would do that from a mini game perspective. Yeah. Would you please die on? <laughs> I used all my ammo. This whip must be pretty good. Yeah, I guess they saw last time that the whip was like... A joke. Yeah, kind of a joke. And in order to compensate for the limited range, they gave it really high damage. Yeah, but you only get the high damage if you pick that one specific upgrade. Yeah, I guess so. so Not they at least gun. made it work, worth using. Yeah. You can't use a whip on this, though. No. You have to use the bad things. There we go. Got him. I'm already doing better than last time. Let's see if I have 50 billion moons to look at again. You probably do. I do. Actually, it's only 60, but that's still a lot. Yeah. That's only like a factor of, what, 6 that you're off by? <laughs> oh, no. Um, okay, so I know that none of us ever check when people send iFunny links, typically. Yeah. But the one Nathan just sent... When you get the chance, you'll want to actually work out. Right. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Kiki Cho says, why amn't I verified Twitter? Okay, so you do like 9 damage and I only have 23. Wow. Thanks. Also, I'm bumped right the fuck back. Am I crazy, or does this feel slightly unfair? Um, I think you need to get better at dodging turrets. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> Running 360 degrees around them is not very good, I don't think. It worked. Somewhat. Somewhat? I didn't take any damage. Yeah, so... Oh! The whip is definitely the correct choice for those things, though. Yeah, because they move slow. Yeah, and their range is small, so you easily outrange them, even with the yeah. whip. And the whip does god-tier damage. Yeah, look at this shit. I did in, like, a couple hits what the uh, magma launcher needed an entire clip to take out. Yeah, that was definitely true. Oh, I was wrong. I have 119 memes to look at. Yeah, honestly. The most recent set was only 60, but I missed the previous set because I, we were doing this. I am aware that um, 
the 10 o'clock creatures are always 60 degrees. Yeah. Do you still have iBunny? I still have it. I just put it in a folder so I don't have to look at it. Ah. Uh. So I don't really, you know, check it anymore. Uh, somebody posted the, uh, that one meme that's been all over the place recently where it's, uh, the woman screaming and it's daggers. You know, the thing that was, the thing that was like, uh, uh, no, I won't wear my stockings or whatever. Oh, that shit. Yeah. Except the text is just replaced with go, go, gadget, knife, breath. <laughs> <laughs> I love when memes completely transcend their original context. Yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff. It's like the the next layer of meme culture. Yeah. It's like the dark web of meme culture. Yeah. Where you need to be really deep in order to get it. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of them. Okay. And I can't, like, outrun them. I mean, they're all ass, but it's still a lot yeah, of them. Yeah, <laughs> but I just didn't want to, like, in the wind-up for my whip attack, accidentally get hit by them. Yeah. Oh, luckily he has a weapon shop just for me. Noise. <laughs> I just stacked those. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but they were boxes, man. I had to do it. <laughs> hey! What's that thing he says all the time? Bada bing! Hey, bada, bada bing! Boom. Well, bada boom. So do we want the Predator or the Shard Reaper? I think we want to shoot people with crystals. Alright, I'll close this after this, but I need to see this. Yeah, honestly, I feel like chopped liver right now. I'm like, oh, am I just that uncool that he would rather look at memes while we're streaming? I just got a billion fucking notifications, and I felt like I needed to look at them. Bada boom. Oh god, there it is again. Hey, bada bing! Bada boom. Alright, we'll Aww. probably get the uh, capstone to do it. What's that thing, uh, with the multiple balls? Wider shot. Okay. I was just wondering. Uh, but it's got, like, no clip. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's not too much. Hey! Um, it's, I get to blow my load all over people. I'm about to blow my load all over your face. Hey. No homo. Well, are you the, uh, the, uh, traitor guy? <laughs> the traitor? What do you mean? I ain't no traitor. like a 3D painting. Okay. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh no. Now there's more of them. <laughs> oh god, there's like six here. For Christ's sake. They sure do have a lot of fucking robots. Now I can see why this place wasn't taken over by the other one. Yeah. Uh, Jeez, man. At least we survived. <laughs> oh, fuck off. 
promise to give you the Lombax secret? I promise not to blow them up. Luckily, they have a bit of a wind up before they start murdering my ass. Yeah. We got some time to attack. Them. Well, that didn't take long at all, either. No, this thing's damage is pretty good, and I, you haven't upgraded it yet, have you? Uh, I've, I've, get, I've sunk some upgrades. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no amount of rerouting is going to get them not blown up. Yeah. Unless you reroute your um, factory production lines. Dude, stop. <laughs> Dude, stop. <laughs> There's such a power to that <laughs> meme. Dude, stop. <laughs> oh, another shock right away. Okay, I'll take it. I guess they just expect, expect you to expend a lot of ammo on this stuff. Well, guess what? There we go. Yeah. Oof. specific no. Yes. No. All the previous games were too. No. They had yeah. universal in, and it only decided randomly for it. No, I don't think that's true. No, I think I'm... Even the first game had, uh... Because remember, we... I guess... I guess there's no remember, because I didn't remember. There, but. but they had different like images. They were like those little like uh, weird tube looking things. But they had different symbols on them. Really? Yeah. Because I remember in 2 and 3 and like you would try to get random crates and see what was inside. Well yeah, there is these are in crates. No, but like the sim they didn't have symbols on it. You knew it was ammo, but you didn't know it was ammo. But you just broke an ammo crate. You didn't see the ammo that was in it because the ammo it dropped was a type that you didn't have and therefore it gave it to you. But you just broke an ammo crate. The ammo crate wasn't labeled, but the thing inside was. And the thing that you saw floating in there that you said is that a specific ammo type was the thing inside the crate and it was labeled. Well no, in this game I'm willing to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I remember uh, that in 2 and 3 they didn't have the specifically they were just but random. one definitely did okay i don't know about two or three i don't remember two or three very well all right what is it There's no way we're also, also that door wasn't was there <laughs> that's true i didn't pay attention to two or three's ammo because we didn't have the same issue as we did in one where we got fucked over by it yeah but i know in one that it had specific ammo your what? Oh. So I need to go out here somewhere? I guess. Huh, <laughs> it's another motion oh. control bullshit. Oh. That's cool. That's I guess. a thing that exists. Yeah, that's nice. Also, Clank just randomly gets shit out of nowhere. <laughs> Again. The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel the Sony. Oh, right. The Sony. I thrust your coil. Thanks, guys. I can handle it from here. Well, congratulations. Oh, hey. It's that person. Yep. I 
you didn't notice it until just now. <laughs> We've already established everybody in this universe has no idea what a Lombax is. <laughs> they, they just know that they're supposed to hate them. Yeah. So you're a Lombax who's never seen another Lombax, doesn't know where they are or what their secret is. That's so ironic. I take it he's the smart one. Also, they totally didn't deny that they saw it. Well, this is my father's Max Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. That's another thing, is that's why I said Andal just kind of gets it written out of the canon. Well, I mean, it's possible that he's just not talking. Yeah. It's not bothering to argue. Yeah, it's like, whatever, it doesn't make a difference. No. The thing is, they don't ever explicitly say she didn't exist, but they just never acknowledge her ever again. Yeah. I recall that smuggler mentioning pirates get the ship ready. Something about pirates on Ardolis being important. Yeah. So her father went looking for something and went missing. Yeah. And pirates were involved somehow? Something about pirates. Yeah, something about pirates. Oh well, good thing to see some things never change. I didn't follow the link, but I'm aware that they're trying to say that the two are linked. Yeah. I just didn't follow how. <laughs> Apparently they're linked somehow, though. Yeah. Onward to Ardolis. I probably should have looked at that uh, info blurb, because it probably would have cleared us up. You're probably right. <laughs> oh, well. It doesn't matter that much, though. Yeah. It's like, eh, whatever. We'll probably figure it I out. I think I remember fucking hating this place. I could be wrong. I could be thinking of something else. But I do think I remember hating this place. Hmm. All right, let's see if there's any upgrades we can do. Probably not. Not even. I know that the crystal shooter is like really close to um, crystal shooter. The shard reaper. That's really close to getting its ultimate. Ah, uh, is it me or is that beeping sound extra annoying all of a sudden? Hmm. All right. There's going to be a lot of feedback in this video. Yeah. Because I turned it way up and never turned it down. What? Why aren't... I don't know why I wasn't fine, but... Must have had something wrong with it. Unless we want to turn the subtitles on. I mean, I feel like it's gotten louder. I can actually turn it down a little bit. But I'm still going to leave it at like 25, which is still loud for a Let's Play. Yeah. Alright, so you said that uh, Nathan posted something good? Yeah, he posted a link to an iPhone thing. Yeah, that's why I ended up on iPhone. How the fuck do I, uh. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. I know that's my fault, but fuck you, game. Oh, I was looking down. What happened? Um, I used the helipod thing to lift the uh, grind rail up. And then I tried to jump on the grind rail while it was still going up, and it was not interactable yet. Oh. So I just kind of plummeted to my death. Ouch. Yeah. Well, what's over here? Oh, a cutscene, apparently. Well, maybe I should have gone the other way. <laughs> uh, helipod. Uh, switching back to gun. There we go. Much better. Also, I'm going to post something extremely cringe to moon combat for you oh, to see later. No. Alright, I'll have to look at it when it's not my turn. Uh, okay. Where the fuck is my... There we go. 
And hey, it's the lifter upper. <laughs> the quicker picker upper. Huh. I don't know why I went this way instead of just going straight to this one, but I did, so. Well, maybe there's something important. Alright, oh, some dudes enjoying their lunch. And you just fucking murder them. They're pirates. Would you fucking shoot Jack Sparrow in the face with a gun? Maybe. I don't know. Alright, fine. <laughs> Never mind then. <laughs> Wait, what? That just went all over the place. Where does that thing want to go? Oh, now, okay. it, now it goes the right spot. Oh, no, it doesn't. There you go. Okay. Why did I do this? Good question. I bet you I need both of these as well. Aha! It's a pirate boat. boat. I don't want to go here, though. So, yeah, bye. Yeah, I want to check this out first. I feel like that's a one-way trip. A Groovatron bomb. I'll take it. Did we even use our previous supply? I don't believe so. Uh, I think that Groovatron ball was wasted. Yeah, it's fine. That technically does mean we could be using these things more often. I may yeah, have fucked myself. Do. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it respawns. Okay, that's good. Um... Maybe I do want to go the other way? I don't, I don't know, know do you? Oh, I can't, because I went across the grind rail. That was a one-way path. Okay. So Alright, well, I guess... I guess we must be going here, then. Yeah, going this way, I guess. Like it or not. Set sail for adventure, matey. Arg. You mean mateys? to find out there was a good reason to come here. Yeah, at least we get stuff. Almost it was bad. I'm just like, oh no, did you accidentally get bone? I didn't know that was gonna go down that fast. Yeah. I didn't know it had like tilting physics. Was that tilting physics? Yeah. Oh, I thought it would. I, I thought it just started to go down because uh, no, the see, time ran even out. Even this one has a small amount of tilting physics. I guess you're right. Also. Is it just me, or does this feel like a ripoff of the Pirates of the Caribbean thing? Yeah, it's very clearly trying to do that. Oh, look. I feel like everything that has to do with Pirates since Pirates of the Caribbean has tried to capture the feeling of that theme. <laughs> okay. Wait, is that Not permanent? Was that a permanent upgrade? I, I think so. Huh. Oh, so we just got a minor perk for doing that loop. Okay, that's what I figured would happen. I mean, it's not like we had any trouble, you know, collecting bolts before, but I guess this is... Yeah, I guess now I don't really even have to think about it. You know? Because they just come to me from pretty mm -hmm. far away. Devices. Oh, it's We're the maxed devices. Out on devices. Yeah, I don't even know. I thought it was an armor, uh, a gun vendor. I was just gonna restock in and maybe look at the upgrades. But. Okay. So you're telling me that they gave dancing animations to all the enemies in this game? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and the next two, I believe. I don't know about Quester Booty, but I know the, I know that, uh, I know that 
uh, Cracking Time has one. That's pretty fun. Oh shit, this is motion control, but so, I forgot. So yeah, you need to hit all of the, um... Oh, fuck. I'm not gonna be able to do this with fucking motion controls. Yeah, you need to hit all of these in order. Why hath you done this to me? Bitch. Okay. Close enough. Yeah, close enough. Some random cave system. I mean, I'll take it. Twenty dollars? <laughs> I wouldn't kill someone for twenty dollars. Depends be? on the person. It'd have to at least be twenty-five. <laughs> Depends on the person. Some people I might kill for free. <laughs> Somebody walks up like, hey, you should totally kill that dude. And then you're just like, yeah, you know what? That guy really should die. I'm gonna go do that now. Is he mixing ketchup and mayonnaise? Alright, I'll pay you to let me kill him. <laughs> uh, okay. You're gonna... <laughs> You're gonna have to pay me for me to hold back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... This is not gonna work. Okay, good, it did. It worked. I, I didn't think it went that far, and I figured I was gonna get fucked because I did that, but... I mean, it worked. It would've only set you back like 10 seconds. Which is why I didn't care and therefore tried it, even though I easily could've glided over and it would've mm -hmm. been safer. <laughs> Now watch me whip. Now watch me go away. Do they ever upgrade the wrench in this game? I don't know. Because that wrench is starting to feel pretty insignificant right about now. Why is it so tight? Why is it so, like... It's just so precise. Yeah. Like, are we trying to... Are we trying to cut open a hole or draw a dick on this fucking stalactite? <laughs> what is this some sound for? It's drunken singing. Oh. I was trying to piece together what exactly that was. Yeah, I was listening to you, that's why I wasn't saying anything. Uh, you said the... The Shard Reaper. Yeah, we can get its ultimate now. Pyrocytic nanoclusters into the shards of the weapon. After embedding themselves in a target, the nanoclusters will trigger an explosive reaction that further damages your foe. Mm -hmm. That Damage could be after. good. Bada boom. A bada bing! Bada boom. He's got a pretty big arsenal already. Yeah. Also, those guys hit me, but I didn't take any damage. Or at least I healed it immediately, but I don't know how. I guess they're your, uh, your typical throwaway enemies. Yeah. That's what every game needs. Like, enemies that die real quick just for the sake of making you feel cool. Yeah. I got no problem with that. There we go. Nice. I wonder if they keep the um, PS3 wiggle physics in future games. I don't think they do, but because, I could be wrong. Because this definitely feels like a fan. Yeah, it, it certainly was. I think there are only a few games that used the uh, the motion controls on the PS3 well, or PS4 well. No, this is the PS3. Uh, one of them was um, Mirror's Edge. Hmm. Because it used it for the balance sections, which just makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I see, a, I see me a shield. 
I see me a lot of shields. Uh, keep this weapon out, I guess. Uh, was P was until dawn PS3 or PS4? Uh, PS4. Okay. Because they did have motion controls in the program. The, uh, yeah. The don't move sections. Yeah. It was actually originally supposed to be PS3. Oh, interesting. Um, it was gonna use. It was gonna be a PS3 move title, huh. but then they uh, decided it wasn't very good, <laughs> and they completely started from scratch remaking it. But we're like, well, by the time we release this, the next console is gonna be out. Let's just start making it for the next console hardware. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. And then it ended up actually being a pretty decent game. Mm -hmm. Most games that get delayed a full console generation are typically not very good. I don't know. I would need to see more info on that. Because the only one I can think of right now is Duke Nukem I was, Forever. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Plus, so I don't know if that's a big enough sample size to say that. But I know that's one very specific example. I think if you, if you told Duke Nukem his sample size wasn't big enough, he'd be quite offended. I think Duke Nukem can shake my sample size. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? A what? It's electrified so you can't use the whip. That is not the word I heard. <laughs> what? We need to keep it, keep it safe distance. I know. I don't know what you heard. I definitely heard something that ended in file. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> we need to keep a safe distance. <laughs> Definitely a safe distance from the map community. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. How old does Ratchet look? <laughs> oh, did our whip suddenly turn red? Uh, yeah. When did that happen? No idea. It must have been one of the recent upgrades. Yeah, it was sometime while I was using it, but I wasn't... I noticed it too, I just didn't know when it started. Yeah. So I didn't say anything. Uh, am I missing anything over there? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we found it. Oh, um... There's, this isn't a grind spot. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, it is a grind spot. Schrodinger's grind spot. <laughs> You'll never know until you attempt to grind on it. It's a pyramid. It's a Sith monument or whatever. From the bad movie. Oh, from episode 9? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying random shit. Also, this confirms that robots eat actual organic matter and can smell. Rouse the lad's rusty feet. Tonight our bones taste the cat's tail. <laughs> also, I'll check it out. <laughs> what? Turn on subtitles, dude. Oh, come on. Do it. I hate We're buttons. missing text. I was able to hear it. Are you sure? Yeah. Croc and Zephyr are somewhere, somewhere. To be honest, I wasn't paying attention. Alright. But I heard the words. I don't... Also, game options, I guess? Yeah, it's right there. I could also turn up speech volume and turn down the other shits. That would help. Uh, because I've noticed that it's hard to hear when compared to other things. Yeah. We don't need help text anymore. Uh... Alright, we should be good now. Surround sound. Mode. Alright, let's see if this helps. Ow, bitch. Wait, how does he know there's a Lombax over here? 
and that he has a girlfriend. I don't know, maybe he saw us as we were escaping. He's like, hey, Whoa. What, what's that? Okay. Thing? Okay. We escaped off screen, so it's possible that, like... Okay. At some point during that thing where we were just looking at the outside of the building. I guess. Okay, why are you not selecting a weapon? Yeah, I thought... I always thought that would be... Alright. Are you... Technically, they're not bolts, so that magnet thing doesn't pick them up. Schrodinger's grind rib. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, the only appropriate response. <laughs> I saw that coming from a million miles away. It was still funny. As soon as I saw them, I was like, yeah, it's gonna land me on that. <laughs> oh. Whoa. So it looks like the subtitles don't affect all text. In this game. Yeah, they don't affect, like, the background text. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. Yeah, that's fine. Uh. Uh. Jeez, you guys have a lot of health. Uh, are we in that part of the game yet? I think it's just those guys, because they're kind of not that much of a threat otherwise. I guess they're supposed to be, like, elite enemies or something. Yeah. These guys can These take a few hits, it seems. They can take two of those grenades. Plasma Beast time. Minion magic. Yeet. Alright. I'm guessing this is going to be our last level. Uh, yeah, let's check the time. It's almost midnight. There's a time right now. It's 11.56. Uh, we have Ravager, I guess. Yeah, because this shit bugs. Oh. Oh. Wait, can I not do that anymore? Aw, oh, fuck that. Doing the boost used to push us through crates and break them. Oh, what? It doesn't anymore. Lame. Yeah, that is kind of lame. Maybe it only pushes you through the ones made of wood. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to try that. No, it just doesn't work anymore. But those were made of metal. No, those were wood. Maybe it's the lighting. Right? Yeah, it's the lighting. Those were the wood ones. I tried to go through an ammo crate earlier, hmm. and it didn't work. And then I just tried the regular uh, crates. Okay. But those also didn't work, so it just doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, was I supposed to be on that? Probably, but we can keep searching if you'd I like. I mean, I was just gonna... I, I, I had seen this thing earlier, so I was gonna go over to it to see what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this might be like a side thing. It definitely looks like a hidden area. Or maybe not. Maybe it's the correct direction? No, this is a side thing for sure. Yeah. This is for more rare titanium. Yeah, boy! And... And something. Something. <laughs> we got something, boys. Woo! You got something. <laughs> we did it, boys. That hidden thing is no more. <laughs> All right. But this might take a while, because apparently we need to destroy an entire platoon of robot soldiers here. Yeah, robot pirate soldiers. Yes. I wonder if these guys have any connection to the ones that were killed in the vid comic that we watched. I would be surprised if there was a connection. He <laughs> just got completely cut off. <laughs> I love when games do that. Watch out! He's got a... <laughs> <laughs> and it was in the middle of the word, too. He's got a... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty impressive. I love that technology. When games started doing that, they became, like, 80% better to me. Yeah. 
I almost overshot that. Oh. Oh, here we go. That was a pretty brief tour, though. Yeah, there was like two things on that tour. I want a refund. <laughs> They're pirates, what do you expect? <gasps> the Buzz Blades. One of my favorites. Uh, I wanted this. Tornado. What? Oh, I said that was the tornado. I know, I just wanted the thing that increases okay. uh, raritanium. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any more rar raritanium or bolt upgrades before I go buy anything else. Uh, these are the rest of these are completed. Yeah, this one's almost finished completely, so I'm just gonna finish it. Yeah. Oh, I can't. But oops. Anyway, let's do that one first. Anyway. Okay. My OCD demands that it be finished. Well, mini boss time. Time to melt him. Yep. Oh, does this gun not upgrade anymore? I think that yeah, this one that one might be. Finished. Okay, I'll stop using it for a while then. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, this one's still V1. Because it has low ammo. Yeah. And also because I've been always only using the first item, the first thing, because it's the best. Hey, I wonder if this guy has a dance enemy. <sighs> Just gonna make me have to do it, aren't you? They all, they all do, man. <laughs> uh, this is already V5. We've been using it a lot. Uh, sure. <laughs> and it wasn't even like a cheap dance animation. They actually went all out with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. Like, they didn't just make this a throwaway thing, they actually put effort into this shit. Yeah. I was expecting just, like, a cheap shuffle for most of these, but a lot of the times they just go right out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're all like that, that's why it's great. <laughs> oh, and it collects all the shit that they drop. Nice. I'll take that. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, pirate doorkeeper. Pirate door. I'm gonna come back to that. I wasn't one. expecting to read that word today. <laughs> oh, we got our Groovatron ball right back. Uh. 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 Yeah, I guess we did. I guess we got two. Huh. So, I guess that's pretty active. Hmm. Um. Maybe we're supposed to use the Groovatron ball on like every You're boss or any boss. Take a hint, There's no reason not to, I really. <laughs> okay. I gotta be a pirate. And all the other doors don't require you to be a pirate? <laughs> Guess not. Are you serious? We already did Apply directly to the fourth. <laughs> That's the planet they're gonna wipe out. <laughs> Select planet. <laughs> that or it's just the place of a really nice takeout restaurant. Yeah. It's like it's just where they store their fucking takeout menus. <laughs> I mean, within this game, you know, you can never be too sure. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're done. 
Yeah, let's uh, be done. We're, it's midnight, my dude. I think I have to get out of the ship in order to, uh, okay. to save, unfortunately. Oh, so we have... Why can't I not go to Vertigris sector? Oh, it's a, se it's a sector. That's just the label? I yeah, guess. it's the label of the sector. Okay, sorry. Okay. So, I can five. So that's like highlighting different parts of the galaxy. Okay, so we uh, we actually... Uh, we completed an entire sector. Yeah, we completed one sector in one day. That's decent. Okay. I don't know how many sectors there are, but, but that feels that, like decent. Progress. Yeah, but that could be good if we want to space things out. Yeah. I don't know if we're... Oops. Oh. I suck. Uh... Uh... I wish I hadn't done this. Uh, I guess that was our ship talking. So technically our ship does yeah. still talk. It's like, you didn't steal from me, did you? What if I did? I like this level. Seems fine so far. Yeah. It's got good music. It's got space combat that's not terrible. Yeah. They've got asteroids that look like bones. Ah, here we go. Here's the good part. Yeah, that is a cool aesthetic, too. Fuck. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a Star Fox game that plays like this. Yeah, I think it would be fun. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty good. Even. Because they didn't have, like, dual joystick control in the N64 era. Yeah. I mean, they did have two controllers, but it wouldn't have worked. Yeah. For all the obvious reasons. Yeah, for sure. Um, technically this is zero level, and you should be playing this. I just... I'm only playing it because I we're done, and I just wanted to get through it so I could save. I wasn't expecting this to happen. I mean, you're already playing it, so whatever. We'll just start with me next time. Yeah. It's kind of just something that I really wasn't expecting things to not be finished. Yeah, because like usually when you go to a planet, you have time. Yeah, I was just gonna go to a planet and then save. Yeah. I should have saved before I got back in my ship. Is what I should have done. Mm. But I didn't think of that till it was too late. Yeah. And then I figured if I'm gonna click a planet, I might as well click the next next one. Yeah. Something about grog. S something about a craft being a substitute. So these uh, planetoids are too small to be stars, but. If they're not stars, then what are they? Uh... Sol solar, or whatever, from... Uh, Starbucks? Hmm. That one planet that's like yeah. their sun? Well, I thought it was just straight up the it sun. It might actually just be the sun. Because it was so big. That's true. This is uh, Jupiter after you throw a match at it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the last time we see this uh, ship mechanic as well. I mean, oh, really? this game is the last one. They change it again, I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Yeah, remember I said they keep changing it on you? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I actually really like this one. This is the one I would have stuck with. Yeah, this one, feel, it, just looking at it, it looks good. Yeah. So it is a little complicated. Sometimes. Not all the time, just sometimes it trips you up. The, the dual joystick thing. Yeah. But it's definitely better than anything else they do. Boss. Orange Cat Caruso. <laughs> That's 
That's a pretty lame name for a box. I think we're just putting him out of his misery at this point. Like, who wants to be called Orange Cat Caruso? Yeah. Especially if this is his only fucking attack. Yeah, really. Because he hasn't done anything else yet, and I've just oh, been wrecking him. Oh, grenades. Ooh. Okay. This is Let's one. See if I can beat this boss without getting hit. This is one uncool cat. Uh, I don't know how this works, so unfortunately. Oh, it's the uh, the bees from Star Fox. They fuck the bees. <laughs> it's hip to fuck bees. <laughs> yes. Another moment I should probably uh, Add point to the out. Classics. Yeah, well, actually, that is on the classics. Okay. I was gonna say this is another moment I should probably point out that if you ah oh, fuck. If you don't get a reference we make, it's probably in the classics playlist. Yep. So go watch that, because it's funny as shit. And I'm not promoting myself when I say go watch that, because we didn't make that. I mean, I made yeah. the playlist, but we didn't make the videos. It's just some of our favorite shits. Yeah, stuff that uh, includes some of our in jokes. Yeah. You motherfuckers are gonna kill all my lilies! <laughs> <laughs> that... Ah! That video is so un endlessly hilarious to me, dude, and the fact that it's not from anything. It's unscripted. Yeah. This is just actually Sir Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Killing gophers in his back. I tried. I tried to find the source of that. There is no source. It's actually just him. <laughs> right. Oh, look, the psychedelic planet. I can get on board with the psychedelic planet. We're going to get a cutscene, aren't we? Uh... Oh. Uh. Robot rule 34. I'm taking damage. What? I took damage! What the fuck? During that whole section. Huh. My controller was vibrating and you could hear Ratchet taking damage. Huh. Now, if I spawn with less than full health, I won't really care, but I will laugh. <laughs> Also, they just made a dick joke. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I can't fucking believe what they did to me. Spawn killed. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I'm pretty good at this. Honestly, oh my god, no, stop! Ah! <laughs> what a way to end an episode. Or not. I or guess. not, yeah. To just running from these fucks as they won't leave me alone. Alright. I like how I also got health and then immediately took damage again and got back to exactly the same amount of health. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Thanks for watching. Yeah, let's we'll get... deal with this clusterfuck next time. Yeah, let's get out of here. Something to leave our uh, viewers on. Yeah. Stay interesting. Uh, that's it. I might not be able to do next week. Uh, I might be busy. But oh, really? We shall see. Okay. I will let you know when I know. I'm Ratchet's just looking so depressed right now. Yeah. It's like, God damn it, I have to get back to this. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. I want to deal with this shit. Fuck this shit, man. I just got spawn killed. And then Clank's just like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>